can't stay long since I'm going through the first game myself and don't wanna get spoiled but enjoy the game. Have a good one. Yeah, that's a fucking... 
and go. If you want. from my dreams. Then the stars were right, and this is to be my final day. Gods give me strength. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right, and this is to be my final day. Gods give me strength.
for introducing me to this amazing franchise holly. Enjoy the final couple of levels. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. I have seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right, and this is to be my final day. Gods, give me strength. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. It's Psycho Lord's time. Baby. Hey, what's up? How's everyone doing today? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope your day's been good to you. It is. It's Tuesday, right? I, I think that's right. I think it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It is uh, September 7th, 2021. My day's been pretty good. Uh, it's been bright and sunny outside. It's been uh, not too, too warm. It's been like, what, 23 degrees, I think, is the high today. So it's a, it's an agreeable, uh, livable temperature. Uh, and it's not storming anymore. And there was a breeze outside. Uh, so I got to go outside and enjoy the weather. And uh, I went for a walk in a little bee. Uh thought I was a flower and was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sniff you. I'm gonna check you for pollen. But it was like, no, no, I'm a person. And so it, it, it went away, but it was cute. <laughs> and then I saw uh, a bunch of wasps or bees or something eating uh, 
bit of fruit someone had put on uh, the road because I think they dropped it and they were just eating it and it was delicious for them, not for me. I didn't. I didn't take a bite. That would be weird and it would be mean to to steal it from them. That wouldn't be sharing. That would be cruel. <laughs> So today's been okay, uh, and now I'm going to try and beat Psychonauts 2. We've got like uh, two levels, three levels, something like that. I had, I had asked a friend who had played it uh, how much of the game I got left, and the, the, the answer was something like that. So uh, that's going to be exciting. Uh, I can... Maybe get it done tonight? I'm assuming the last level or two are probably going to be, like, jumbo size, spicy, big levels, because, you know, it's the conclusion of the game and all that, so... We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we are on Bob's currently, yes, that's why, uh... The title of today's stream was originally going to be Bob's Your Uncle. You know, because it's a joke. Uh, thank you, uh, Snup Nowlsh, for the six-month reset. I am greatly excited for Raz to do some jumps around and hop through a brain. Oh, you and me both. <laughs> Thank you for the six months of support. I appreciate it. I guess I should maybe go on to that segue before I do more. Uh, you know, if you like the streams and you want to support what we do here, uh, you got options for that. If you want to go the extra mile and go the financial route, uh, you, you know, you can subscribe to the channel. You can give out gift subs. You can give bits. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the best way to support me money-wise as far as, like, the cut that I get from it uh, is probably going to be just, like, tipping directly through... Uh, Streamlabs and PayPal, that's just money that goes to my wallet right away. Uh, any and all financial support, uh, very greatly appreciated. Never mandatory. Uh, you don't have to. Don't ever feel like you have to. Don't feel pressured to. Uh, you gotta look out for yourself first and foremost, you know? But uh, if you got the means uh, and uh, you're feeling generous and uh, if, you know, the, 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 the broadcasts have ever uh, brought a smile to your face or brought something good to your life in some small way, well... The options there for you and it's very greatly appreciated uh because of the very generous support of viewers like you uh i'm able to do this as often as i do with as much energy as i do uh and i'm still able to like pay off bills and get food and save up to move and all that stuff so thank you all very much uh it's very greatly appreciated and thank you missing qqq for that sub i appreciate that uh, otherwise, you can support the stream that doesn't involve your money, you know? You can uh, share tweets, re re retweet, that's what it's called. I know I know how to use the internet, uh, and I am a grandma now. Uh, you can <laughs> you can retweet posts about the stream. Uh, if there's any clips you enjoy, you can, you can take those and you can share those around. Uh, you can tell a friend, and you know, if you've got the time and you like what's going on in any particular day, I reckon stopping on by, having a good time counts as support in its own way, so thank y'all very much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. So, originally my plan for title of stream today was I was gonna call it Bob's Your Uncle. Uh, L Lola had kitties? No? No, no, no. Lola is not pregnant, and I don't think she can be. I'm pretty sure she's she's been fixed. <laughs> And also, she's not allowed to be around other cats because she's very, very territorial. Uh, so, she has to live all by herself. No other cats allowed in the house because she's a big diva. Thank you, Barney Crunchwrap, for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. Uh, so I was going to name the stream Bob's Your Uncle, you know, because uh, Bob Zanotto is Lily's uncle. Thank you, Teffy, for the $5 tip. This may be the final. It might be. Thank you again for the delightful Psychonauts streams, and I'm glad you enjoyed the games. Hey, I'm glad I enjoyed them too. I've been meaning to give them a try for like years and years now, although I guess just the first one, because this one only came out recently. Uh, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I got to share it with you all. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, because Bob is, Bob Zanotto is Lily's uncle, and uh, Bob's your uncle. It's, it's a phrase. It's a, it's, a, it's a figure of speech, what people use. And so I put that into the schedule as the title of the stream, and then Twitch said... No, no, no. That, uh... It doesn't meet our moderation requirements. Adventures of Psychic Grandparents. Thank you, Shocktopus, for the 11-month resub. I appreciate that. And so I was just like... Why? 
Why does that not work? I tried like different permutations. Like I tried Bob uncle, that was okay. Bob's uncle, that's okay. Your uncle, that's okay. Just uncle, that was okay. Uh, just Bob was okay. Uh, Bob's your uncle doesn't work. Uh, abbreviating your to different things doesn't work at all. And I was like, why? Is this, this has I, have I been using this phrase wrong all my life? Does it mean something else? Is it like, is it some kind of like, hateful thing is it a sex thing and so frantically google searching sexful bob at like what two in the afternoon uh weirdly enough didn't turn up any sort of helpful results but uh you know i tried my hardest <laughs> and so i decided well if, if twitch is gonna be obtuse with me i'm gonna be obtuse with the title and so we've got this word vomit <laughs> So I suppose that's the title of the stream today. Uh, what else did I want to say before we start? Uh, um, you know, if you want to join the Discord, exclamation point Discord. Nice little community, good folks, uh, good conversations. People like to post pictures of their animals and pictures of their dinner and pictures of, well, no pictures of owls yet, but maybe someday. Uh, I posted a video of a golden mole the other night. I didn't record the video because golden moles don't live in my area, but, you know, I, I found a video of a golden mole that I liked. Uh, so you can look at that if you join. Though I guess you could also uh, look at that on, on, on YouTube. It's just a publicly available video. <laughs> and if you got fan art for the streams, uh, you can post them in the, the fan art channel of the server. Or uh, you can post them on Twitter and just at me there and I'll give them a look at the end of stream. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Uh, so with that, let's uh, jump right into the game then, why don't we? Uh, I have to click on this so that I bring up the the view for uh, the game. And then I have to open up Psychonauts 2 in my library. Uh, I should plug in my controller so I can play this game with my controller instead of my keyboard. Because I've been playing it with my controller the whole time and I would like to do that and not have to learn a whole new control scheme at the end of the game. Uh, you're going to hear a Windows sound because I'm plugging in uh, an object into Windows so you're going to hear that. Did you hear it? Did you like it? Was it good? Was it awesome? Yeah, golden moles are really good. They're incredible, uh, incredible source of animal. And now we're going to start the video game. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Yep, any second now. I told you! <laughs> oh, actually, before we get going, I should probably, uh... Mute the alerts, just because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of dialogue happening today, considering how we're, we've gotten every uh, <laughs> every collectible in the overworld, except for the one that I can't get yet until I'm let back into that area. Uh, so I'm just going to mute the alerts real quick. Go back into the game. Well. Pitter patter, let's get at her, I suppose. This nice animal is having fun. Well, they've loaded the animal now, so... <sighs> we gotta go visit Bob, our friend Bob. Oh! Who is uh, this way, if I remember right? <laughs> It's been a couple of days since I played this game, so uh, hopefully I'm not too rusty controls-wise, platforming-wise. Uh, I played like a very, very tiny amount of, of Destiny 2 this morning, and uh, 
That game is not a platformer, but it does have platforming. Uh, and the platforming is extremely janky in that game. Uh, so hopefully my brain's not in bad platformer mode. It's awesome how Raz just fucking died, but it's okay. What's my destiny class? I basically exclusively play Titan. Uh, I made like a warlock and uh, uh, a hunter, but like, I don't have the time or the interest to play like three of the classes at once. Uh, and I mostly just play uh, the, the void subclass because I like to make the bubble and the banner shields, but I also play uh, the fire one sometimes because making things explode and burn is fun. In we go! Vine? Nice vine. Me when I see a funny video that's under six seconds that I enjoy. Oh right, that website's dead though, isn't it? I forgot. That... Or is it? Yeah it is. TikTok is the one that exists now. Huh. That's a very dated joke, isn't it? Do you think Bob would mind if I took a look inside his mind? Hey, give that back! I need it! Oh wait, you're helping. Okay. Thank you! <laughs> In we go. It's funny how sometimes the doors like make people stop completely and sometimes it just makes them go like, hey, come on, man, be nice. Hello? Agent Zanato? Oh, pretty. We got a pot for the Psychonauts. We got a pot for Hamlet Full Bear. Uh, we got a pot for Tia. A signal fire, try it. No one comes. That's a bummer. Am I invisible? Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, hang on. <sighs> I saw me for a second. There we go. Oh, because there's a pot in the way. I see. I get it now. Little gardener boy. Cute. Hello? Agent Zanato? Strange. I don't usually get visitors here. That sounds pretty lonely. I have my garden. Of course. The Zanatos are famous for their... gardens. Huh. What did you plant here? Plant? What kind of seeds did you use? Oh, seeds. Yeah, that's right. No seeds. Lost them all. Where'd they go? Out there, I suppose. Can't really remember. Well, let's go find them. I'm uh, not a good swimmer. Are you? No. <laughs> Welcome to the island, then, I guess. Our new home! It's like a, it's like a little round area, like a tiny planet. Don't 
worry. I'll find your lost seeds. Uh, take your time. Don't worry. I'll find your lost seeds. Uh, take your time. <laughs> what was that? What, are these? What, are, what, what does that just say? I gotta go look at that now. Hang on. Uh... Oh, dirt. I thought it said dump. I thought it was a sack that said dump on it. <laughs> I thought we got a bag of dump. <laughs> I wonder if we can jump across these little flowers here. Nope. We cannot. damage boost our way across, unless... No, they they give you less bounces in this world, because they specifically don't want you to do that, I guess. Yep. Oh. Don't worry, I'll find your lost hmm. seeds. Uh, take your time. Interesting. Although... Uh, Nah, that totally doesn't work either. I thought I could maybe be cheeky with it. <laughs> well, that's the end of the level. I suppose it's time for us to leave. Huh. Huh. Wait! Don't go. Come with me. It's okay. Look, I'll just do some quick seed recon, and then I'll come right back. I promise. Poor Bob. We got an awesome hogfish. Oh, the music in here is extremely chocobo music to me. But, like, nautical chocobo music. This bottle looks promising. And ominous. Prominous, if you will. Bottle? I don't see a bottle. Oh, right there. The giant bottle. Now I see it. Music makes you think of Sims music? It sounds like Chocobo music to me. It sounds like any second that's gonna go like... Da, 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 ba, ba, ba. Except, you know, this is probably too sad of a world for that. stick around uh, the selection. In we go. Oh, this is a fun portal. <laughs> Truck. Flowers. Big pot. Happy family. A candle. Ooh, I like the way the terrain's moving here. This is just that truck pick again, isn't it? Yeah. We just picked up an old woman. Mom, it's time for my recital. Yeah. 
very large and scary kitchen. I used to have nightmares about, like, houses that had huge rooms like this. I wonder how common that is. Come inside, I made dinner. Why? I wouldn't want you to get hurt. How could that little thing hurt me? Oh, they always start out little, don't they? And then they grow and grow and cause so much pain. Here, let me just take this somewhere safe. Wait, no, I want that. No, you don't. That moth looks a lot like Bob's face. Like his 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 eyes and nose, mustache. It's a cute little detail. Cool strawberries around here. Okay, you can't go in the flower. The flower eats you, so don't try it. That's a that's a good lesson for okay, life in uh, general. Okay, let's start at the beginning. How did I get up here? <laughs> I forgot Did to I climb up here. I forgot to get rid of any of the camera UI stuff. I was too entranced by that. Get off me, fine. Ah. Right, high jump. I was born. Okay, so you don't go on top of this lump. I'm learning. Oi there. Uh, lend a hand. What do you need? Uh, just uh, caught in a bit of a bind here. If you could jiggle me loose, I could get some fresh air on my face. I'll work it out. Just hang in there. Was that a joke? Because uh, I didn't ask for any jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, gun. Ah, that's the stuff. Hey, bud. Yeah, a little motion really gets the juices <laughs> flowing, if you know what I mean. Hang on. I'll break that final vine. No, 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 no. Just leave it. I, I think this is all the freedom I can handle right now. People are saying he looks like a Veggie Tail, but I've never watched Veggie Tales before. It's not really my. My thing is a wee one. That makes the glass sound. Is that like the bottom of a bottle or something? Oh, that's like an overturned cup. I see. Show me the way to go home. I want this figure before I forget. Hi, have you met my friend? They just love to fly and fly. There's more of them. It's about vegetables with faces that love Jesus but can't go to heaven because they don't have souls. <laughs> that sounds like an existential crisis waiting to happen. Uh-oh. How'd you get yourself caught by that bird? Caught? I got this feathered fairy service right where I want him. 20 feet in the air? He's keeping me moving so I don't plant roots. It's a constant struggle. See. Oh, that goes away. That goes away. Okay, so you don't stand on that. <laughs> Hope you're not taking me back to your nest to uh, feed something. Hmm. Oh, this comes back. I see. Does anyone have an, uh, have an air sickness bag? I just like barely missed that. Ah. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. It's canonical that the veggies don't go to heaven. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, good for them or maybe bad. I find it sad or good. Who's to say? 
I wonder if you can uh, clairvoyance on this guy. Too far now. Put me down, wretched demon! Up in the air, Junior Birdman! Still just a little planter guy. Anything over here? Hey! I can see your house from here! Is it green? It's a little slidey straw. There's some figs down here. Gotta be goodies over here. There we go. Back up the way we came. Hello down there. Hi. I hope you're having fun. He's not having fun at all. Oh, okay, big one. Oh, they had to carry Harry to the ferry. <laughs> I like the singing. I totally thought I made that jump. You know, I was scared to try swinging too, but now that I'm doing it, I love it! I know how that can be. Sometimes the scariest step is the first some step. emotional baggage nearby. That was me with roller coasters, and then I realized roller coasters are one of my favorite things in the whole world. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. 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 I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. I think the game's broken. It can't be done. One more time around the block, Jeeves. <laughs> What's with this guy? What is it for me? This monster's so roughly bearing me over the sea. Or. Oh, that's a swinging point, I just realized. Wait a second, what am I doing up here? We got a bounce pad here. Yep. Put me down, wretched demon! I wonder if I can... Name for me this monster so roughly bearing me o'er the sea. So the answer is you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Noted. One more time around the block, Jeeves. Oh, I see goodies over here. Oh, hey, there's a nugget. I think for this side, the tag. From above. The tag. I don't mind suck me in somewhere, so let's just get these first. I love the little spin that Raz does sometimes when you grab onto a, an object. Voice of Brady, Culture, and Sam and Max. Huh, neat. I gotta... I gotta replay uh, the Sam and Maxes one of these days. I've been meaning to for a while. I don't know if I want to stream them or just play them on my own, but I'll get back to them in some way. Duffel bag tag. Thank you for the goodies. Season three of Sam and Max is your favorite ever? I never got that far. I did like uh, a chunk of uh, hit the road, Junior Birdman, and like then the first Telltale season, and then part of the second one. I never did three. Thanks for the. <laughs> I saw someone asking if I'm going to play or stream the, the Alan Wake remake. Uh, probably not anytime soon, because I only played that like a year ago and it's still kind of recent in my mind, but like, Hi, you know, you know, maybe someday. Friend. They just love to fly and fly. Uh, I'm probably going to play Control Suit instead, <laughs> because that's the one I haven't played. <laughs> My 
Alan Wake playthrough was like a year ago, but like I started it uh, in October of last year because it's I was like... It's almost like you want to get hurt by this thing. I do. I started in October of last year because it was like, oh, you know, it's like a kind of a scary-ish game. Ish. Damn, it was a while ago, there wasn't it? The remake is really cool, though. Uh, Alan Wake's a good game. I like it a lot. I hope more people get to experience it. How can these plants look so sick? You should spend so much time on them. Someone's gotta clean these dishes. And that someone's gonna be me. Breaking them is kinda like cleaning them. God, I've heard so much good stuff about Control, though. I've been meaning to play it for way too long. Probably, like, sometime next month or November. Uh, I'll stream it then. Hi! Okay, bye! Stay away! For your own safety! Ooh, I like the stained glass here. Okay, next time I'm really going to hide this. Okay, have fun. Let's see, I'm looking for, for any figments that might be hiding here. Careful! You almost touched it! Yep. A little hard to read with some Oh, happy days never last. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, that I'm bad. warning okay. you in a friendly way. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm still gonna go get the seat though. Where's that crying coming I'm starting to think you don't trust my opinion about seats. Got the first tag. I got the tag for at least. Okay, this is a slidey surface. I don't stand on it. Hey, don't get so close. Yep. It's probably like just up there and I'm like overthinking it. I think I hear something. Under here? Hey, I can see your house from here. Is it green? Hmm. Up there? Up there. Wait a second, what am I doing up here? <laughs> now the question is how to up there. Anyone happen to have an air sickness bag? That's how. There's grapple blocks here. Also, yeah, y'all, for reference, if you hear me like musing, like, "Oh, I wonder where it is. I wonder how I get it." Don't, don't fucking tell me the answer me unless I like directly ask for it. Feed something. Like if I'm asking for help, and I do, uh, but if I am, it'll be very, very explicitly clear. <laughs> If I'm just like, hmm, I wonder, please don't, like, have 20 people chime in. Oh yeah, by the oh, way, it's just up there. Lock, like, I figured it out myself before I saw the messages, but like, come on. Come on. That's no hey, fun. I can see your house from here. Is it green? That was pretty fun, though. Hmm. Looks like my plant friend is caught up in some regrets. What are you talking about? I have no regrets. Now these must be somebody else's. Mm, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Oh, dang, you're just like right here, aren't you? Let me have that. Uh... He gets out of your way. I regret nothing. I 
learn nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Perhaps we've done a bit of a bad thing. <laughs> Up in the air, Junior Man. Nothing there. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. This man really is just flying around like, I've never faced consequences in my entire life! <clears throat> I'm tempted to just let you get hurt. I've already got a little hurt already. It's okay. Let's see, is there anything to jump on over there? Hi, have you met my friend? They just love to fly and fly. Okay, and then froggies. Oh, name for me this monster so roughly <laughs> bearing me over the sea. I missed. This time I didn't miss. Oh, but they go away when you stand on them for too long. Uh, hello down there. Third time's the charm, right? Anything back here that I missed? Nothing immediately evident, so let's keep going. This must be Bob's mother, Tia Zanotto. Yeah. That's who the tattoo is for. Expression of like happiness here. This seems more like. Oh, you don't hmm. want to be near this thing. Like shock or confusion or fear or something. Maybe I'm just parsing the face wrong. I've, I've been known to do that. It's almost like you want to get hurt by this thing. Uh, hey, mom. Are you heading out to the greenhouse again? The dust there looked like it was shining because of a collectible. The greenhouse. Anything up here? for so long. Oh. Mom? You out here? Whole lot of bottles in here, huh? Whole lot of unwashed dishes and empty bottles. That's a little foreboding. Oh, yes. Only very bad things down there. Perfect place for this. Who needed that? Oh, come on. You'd better leave Bob's memories alone. You don't want to bring out one of his bad moods. What's so dangerous about a bad... Ah. Look, Mr. Mood, I'm sure we can work this out. For instance, let's examine the source of ice. Bad Mood. Need to find its source. Let's change our pins. Uh, I would like... 
the TK Anywhere system. Um, I would like more chains. And um, how about uh, exploding friend? And then I'll summon a buddy. Then I will. Uh, Not working. Look for. Source of our issue. Let's heal. Scary. <laughs> Nothing down here. Wait, no, that did that did hurt that thing a little bit. No, that's that's my my buddy's health bar. Never mind. Very obvious. Oh, right. As I said, I was missing something very obvious. There must be something causing this bad mood around here. There we go. Not such a bad mood now, are you? Interesting. I'm glad I thought to look up eventually. <laughs> Most gamers don't look up unless prompted. I mean, yeah, why would I do that? If, like, if the camera's in, like, a fixed angle where it's like, oh, here's this thing looking down at the arena you're in uh, and, like, circling around when you move that, my instinct isn't, oh, okay, I should look up then. My instinct is, oh, okay, so it's got to be something around here, you know? I've been trained by too many video games. It's funny because, like, when I'm, like, outside and doing things, I'm, like, constantly looking up at, like, trees and birds and clouds and stuff. Mom? It's, it's bedtime. Are you still out here? I like this place looking like a, a messed up, like, botany church with, like, all the stained glass and stuff. Must be Lily's great grandmother. Uh oh.
what do moths know, right? Well, we sure did find the seed in more way than one, didn't we? Hopefully that's not too much of an issue. Look familiar? I don't know. Looks big. Let's plant it and see what happens. Nothing happened. <laughs> Guess it's a dud. Agent Zanato, as an expert gardener, I'm sure you know the value of patience when it comes to... Well, hello. I'm off to find more seeds. Uh, well, don't you think this is enough? More's always better. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, uh, Frankie, if people are, like, just straight up posting spoilers in chat, time them out for, like, fucking ten minutes. Don't just do ten seconds. Like, give them the big one. Speaking of big one. Looks like you can only get off at like docks specifically. Hey Val, how you doing today? here that I never explored, aren't there? This is where we came in uh, the first time. How far into this mind are we? I got one seed. one seed and now I'm just kind of exploring around a bit for fun. This feels a bit illegal. Phew. This feels a bit illegal. I'm going to jail for this. But the crab. But the crab. 
You gotta consider the crab. Oh right, I should blow those up first. Yep. Trimming? Hi, Agent Zanato. You're fired. You can't fire me. You're fired. Is that all you're gonna say to me, Truman? You think I won't fire family? Okay, see you later, Bob's memory of Truman. Firing people makes me feel like a big man. Ouch. <laughs> There's some more baggage. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> oh well, too hard to find. See me. Oh. Also was a little gardener boy. Huh. Can't find the emotional baggage tag? Can't find the emotional baggage? That's it, you're fired. I think I hear something. Can't find the source of the noise? You're fired. Can't avoid drowning? You're fired. Gee, I sure hope I didn't soft lock myself by jumping all the way oh. over here. Wouldn't that be funny? Nah, we're good. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Oh. Well. We gotta do is find it now. Oh, you're the wrong guy. I'm going fully backwards. Huh? Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Yep. Here we go. I wonder if there's a way to recall uh, your boat to any of the any of the thingies. Oh yeah, this is my first run through the world right now. I'm one bottle in, and then I immediately figured out how to jump to other islands without using the boat. So I'm just kind of clowning around. Uh, acting a fool, probably going to where I shouldn't be yet, but having fun, so that's what matters. Also, we made that guy go, Ugh! So. <laughs> so. This one's too far, so that's probably the back to spawn area. If I had to, if I had to guess. Baggage that makes you go, oh. Yep. oh! I do like that levitation is a long jump in this game. That's fun. I'm having a good time, and not even God can stop me. I say moments before drowning. Are the clouds in shapes? No, I think they're just clouds. Uh. There's some scary swirls up in the air, though. That's kind of like clouds, but dangerous. Uh, anyone who knows about clouds can tell you that. Which is why I'm telling you that. I don't think you can jump there. Yep. also nothing up there either <laughs> but that's never gonna stop me from looking so what's over here the water and me falling 
Right, yeah, like, I could keep going, like, there, there would be nothing there, but someday, somewhere, in some game, maybe not even this game, but in some game, there is gonna be something up one of those hills, and I'll get it. And then who will be laughing? I mean, probably me, realistically, because it'll be funny, but... I suppose... the last laugh... something something... I've, I've kind of lost track of where this, this allegory's been going. Oh hey, I accidentally made it to where I'm supposed to be anyways! <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure. That's not the intended sequence? Oh, don't worry, I'm very keenly aware of that. <laughs> that was less, oh, uh, I, I thought I had to go that way, and more, okay. I see where the game is very obviously visibly telegraphing me to go to. What if I didn't go that way? <laughs> what if I completely ignored that on purpose? And here we are. Not even, like, because I, like, didn't want to or anything, but just because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> and I have a bunch of figments now, so, uh... Time well spent. Jorb well done. I also got, uh, one of them baggages, so... reason why levitation was nerfed. Uh, people like me are the reason why levitation was nerfed. <laughs> I didn't play Psychonauts the first one at any time when like the development of this game was relevant, so... Uh, it's not my fault, it's the fault of like-minded heroes. It's the fault of Holly-type individuals. There's a half a mine there. Hello. Hey, Otto. Glad Bob still keeps some friends around. Friends? Please. Uh-oh. You and Bob aren't friends? Well, Helmet was the one we all liked, really. He was so outgoing and handsome. We were just nice to Bob because they were kind of a package deal. Oh, come on now, Bob. You know that's not true. That can't be the only reason you were friends with Bob. True. We also needed his vegetables. You and Bob were good friends. The truth is, we all saw Helmet with someone taller. You and Bob were good friends. The truth is, we all saw Helmet with someone taller. Man. Yep. Thoughts like that can be rough to deal with, and they're kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy sometimes, unless you can nip him in the bud. Oh. That's rough. Intending for that to be a plant joke, but I guess it kind of worked out that way, didn't it? This entire world is fully a ball. This is completely a ball type world. Also, yeah, I can kind of hear it now that someone pointed it out. This is totally just like a, like Griffin on what do you do with drunken sailor? That's cute. It's a seagull. Okay. I thought the seagull was a person. This world is fully and completely like ball to me. I think we probably uh, swooped around and saw just about everything world-wise. 
Ah, it's just a seagull, you son of a bitch. Goodbye. I'm totally gonna slam into this, but it was sick as hell. One of these days I'm gonna learn how to drive and not bump into things. Not today, but you know, one of these days. Anything else on this island that's very obvious what I missed? <gasps> Looking like no, but I can almost just come back, so. Hey! Oh, the cork is gone. It's okay, I got the TK anywhere system, I can chuck rocks. plant scientist, but that looks pretty seedy to me. You're stuck in a bottle. Hey, you okay over there? What? Uh, me? Oh, I I'm great, thanks. Oh, okay. I imagine the stuck in a bottle thing is meant to be I'm trapped. Uh, multiple meanings here. Can I shoot it? Yes. Oh, thank you. I feel much better. Sorry about that. Cabbage burps are the worst. That's true. That's true. Oh, that's falling. But I want that fish. Ah, uh, well, anyway, thank you. Oh, it comes up here. Okay. <laughs> but I wanted it. Alright, time for a long, slow walk. I feel so much better. I really like the music here. This is where I get off. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. What? For saving you from that time bomb. It's just a seed. Ah, but isn't a seed just a bomb in slow motion? No, it's a plant egg. It's a plant baby. Guess I can't use it here. Huh. Oh, huh. My camera is saying error. 2236114 psychic interference. Guess I can't use it here. Huh. Oh. <sighs> Helmet. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Treasure. We got some burning over here. This is nothing. I shouldn't be going here. <laughs> yeah, this area is really pretty. I was hoping to get some pictures of it. Oh well. This, that figment that is picked up because it looks kind of turtle like. It looks a little bit like turtle and that made me smile. In we go! Right? I think I got everything here that I could like, at least immediately see. Ooh, the lower down.
really like the walls here and the lighting on them. Dev who showed my chat a while ago popped in when Trog was doing bottles. Oh, hell yeah! Oh shit, this is the... This is the Psychonauts hey. HQ. Hey, I'm back in the mother world. Huh. Or they paid for lights, apparently. Oh, Sonic. Oh, right, enablers. Okay. Uh, time to stop. Uh, go. Uh, time to stop. Whoa! I, like, went through the ground for a second. Where did everyone go? Where did everyone go? Um, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Okay, let's see what's causing this. Oh, cute the little therapist! I just noticed. I broke them all. They're all gone. All right, all right, let me at him, let me at him! Where'd they go? <laughs> Why does this keep happening whenever I play a video game? <laughs> hey, where's the seed? What seed? Oh, that thing. Oh, I dropped it in a river far away. Right. Hey, it's not in there. Not in there, I said. I can't even rightly blame it on, like, any specific game anymore. It, it, it's happened too often in too many things. <laughs> I think I might just be haunted. Uh, or cursed, but I mean, I already knew I was cursed. This is just my ability. Oh, sorry, sorry, buddy. You guys having fun there? I'm excited for this song. Uh, in uh, the soundtrack release that's gonna happen eventually. I do appreciate Criminal Worlds, uh, in chat saying Bearer of the Curse, uh, there's a reason why one of my stickers in my Discord server is just called Bearer of the Curse, and it's just the picture of me smiling sweetly with a little halo. <laughs> there's a reason for that. Come on, killer. I'm taking you along for protection. Good idea! It's you and me, kid. Let's show them who they're messing with. Let's Over this go. way? Oh, great. That, that's exactly what I would have done. I haven't been over here in a while. Ooh. This is pretty. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I like the little buds on the wall. They look kind of like mouths. Careful, slippery stuff here. They really ought to put down some yellow cones here. It's a cool vine. I uh, uh, don't suppose you have any golf shoes on you, huh? Something with uh, cleats? I must have left them in my other brain. Sorry, bud. I'm a sucker for like nautical themed stuff, so I really like this level. This is really if you cool. start slipping, remember to lean into the slip. Oh wait, is that? Or maybe it's away from the slip. I never actually remember what you're supposed to do when you start slipping. 
I kind of just accept it and let myself get hurt, which is, you know, bad. That's bad. Careful. I think one of these tiles is loose. I think most of these tiles is loose. Oh, I see. They're cracked. Cute. Did I hear a crack? You might have heard a couple there, bud. Watch your step. A little grout would do wonders for this floor. I used to think grout was it as easy as you could get, so I never understood why people liked using it for, like, cracks and walls and stuff. Uh, I realize now that I'm older I was thinking of gout, which is different. Uh, it's very different. I know how I can fight the load. Did that help? That was awesome, bud. Thank you. Yeah, there might also be some gout involved here with poor Bob, to be fair. Break the old man's back. At this point, I'm just kind of breaking the tiles for fun. Do not look down. Why not? What's wrong? Was there anything in here that I missed? It looks like no, so let's just keep going. There we go. Here's where you belong. Ah, uh, being back in this place really brings up some... <clears throat> brings up some... <laughs> memories. Oh, are you headed down to the boss's office? I do not envy you. Uh. Yep. It doesn't matter where it is or what the context is, I never enjoy having to talk to bosses of, like, anything. Fired. You can't fire me! Oh, this is going to Truman's office. I helped create this place! Recruited by Ford Crawler himself! No pipsqueak nephew's gonna fire me! What do you mean, what's happened to me? What's happened to you? What's his phone number? I'm not gonna call some stranger! Oh, no. I don't need help! I just need my job! Yeah, I made some mistakes, but uh, so is everybody! It's Truman. Yes, people were hurt, but no one died! It worked out in the end! Oh no. Bob, what did you do? Why are you all attacking me? Oh. You're my own blood. Why aren't you on my side? Truman, how could you? Wet to burn. I'd hate to see Truman get that mad. Yeah, the phone number bit really hurts, doesn't it? Got another one. Going great, don't you think? Oh, the little smile. I'm off to find more seats. We sail then. Oh, hey, there's a tank there now. 
maybe it was always there and I just missed it. Who's to say? Ha! Ah, here's the hat box tag. This is a happy song for a happy game, right? Yep. Oh look, it's Lily! Hey Lily, I thought you hadn't seen your great uncle Bob in years. How does he know what you look like? My dad sent him pictures for years. He's never heard your voice though, has he? How'd you know? Oh god, the voice bit. <laughs> That's very funny and also deeply sad. Have you seen any seeds on this island? I'm trying to find some for Bob. Nope. Good thing too. What good things ever came from a seed? I don't know. Plants? Trees? Heartbreak, disappointment. Oh, he's projecting on her because he doesn't know her at all. But, like, the fact that she's in here means that he thinks about her a lot, yeah. So what are you doing out here? Just trying to stay away from Great Uncle Bad News. Oh. Bob Zanotto is actually really nice, once you get to know him. Don't worry, he'll let you down eventually. Bob Zanotto is actually really nice, once you get to know him. Don't worry, he'll let you down eventually. Ouch. Watch it! Mm. Yeah. yeah, the fact that, like, it, Truman was the one that was still sending him the pictures is like... He still cared about Bob. Youch. Do we know anything about Lily's mom? Uh, we haven't seen anything in my playthrough of it so far, so... Uh... No. Drifting this awesome boat. Hmm. The lighting here is a little scary, isn't it? Of ominous here. Yeah. Oh, is that coconut figment one that uh, a lot of people struggled with? Because I just. I mean, I just found it right now, so. <laughs> it's, it's so funny to me that, like, now that the figments are, like, so much more easily visible, it's like they've removed my power limiters and I'm really good at finding all of them. Let's just get on with it. Goodbye! <laughs> Need me to find things you can't find in your house? I'd be happy to. No, go back, go back! No, go back, go back. You, you go back. You, no, go back. No! <laughs> I shouldn't be jumping here. Oh, I'm missing so many of them. No! Oh, the ring! You weren't about to grab that seed. 
Grab that what? Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Let me grab that. No, wait! Oh no. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> oh no. I cannot roll my way back up there all sneaky like. Okay. I can check behind it though. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Stump man? Man man from stump? It's kind of what it looks like. Beast? Creature? Animal? Guides describe that as a unicorn. not a unicorn that's I think that's a nose I think that's a nose a second. what am I doing up here I'm pretty sure that's a nose <laughs> unicorns are famous for having noses Breath. hey glad you could come I love a good wedding don't you oh no it's their wedding now then to the champagne tower my good man Oh, worry. Hang on, what's over here, though? <laughs> on the one hand, awesome. Uh, I can't wait for the, the gay wedding. On the other hand, oh no. The context of the rest of this level has got me worried. Dinner? Open up, okay? Tia's greenhouse. I feel like the implication uh, here between, you know, the, the mom portion of this and also this uh, is that uh, she drank herself to death. God damn. That's where the seed was planted, wasn't it? I thought I could burn these. I cannot. I'll take this nugget. Nice. There's probably a much easier way to get up there, like, uh... <laughs> but the dodge roll was fun the dive was fun so maybe that was the best way actually yep. yeah it, it, it is really cool like going through there the first time it's like you know you want to run on the table because oh I'm getting uh all the all the goodies all the figments on here and then you come back after getting the the the, the the vault and it's like oh the entire wedding table is ruined it's all ruined you did this I hope you're not taking me back to your nest to uh feed something feed post your feed Lola's in chat post your feed Lola's in chat me down, wretched demon! Let me 
secrets over here. Does anyone have an, have an air sickness bag? Yep. Frog. Frog. The lily frog. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm hmm. A place for me to jump to? Oops. A place for me to jump to? A place for Holly to play? Um. I may have dug a little too close to the sun. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got out. Hey, I can see your house. <laughs> Is it green? I don't know why I said dug a little too close to the sun. That's not usually what you do with the sun, is it? literally doing this constantly. Why do I keep doing this to myself? <laughs> I know what's going to happen, and yet I want to get the big ball bounce. I want to do a big bounce cry. There we go. Invisible wall. I had to know. I had to know. Y'all, I had to know. <laughs> Up in the air, Junior Burtman. Dug too deep, too greedy, into space. As one does. To the right, to the left, far and wide, with the shriek of a damned spirit, to my heart with the stealthy pace of the tiger. I do think a lot about Net One Psychonaut stream when one of the devs came in and made a comment like, people like you are the reason we have invisible walls. Ow! <laughs> Still feeling pretty good about that. Still feeling really good about that, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's a compliment to me. What about here? What about here? Uh, invisible wall as well. Okay, get out of there, it's a bomb. These walls are made of cake. Oh, these walls look Stay yummy. Away. For your own si Can I- can I do this onto you? Safety! Oh my god. Oh my god, little bird? I'm starting to think you don't trust my opinion about seeds. Little bird? Oh my god? Okay, next time I'm really going to hide this. Little bird. Awesome. Hey, don't get so close. Wait, no, I want that. I could take like a big bite out of these walls and I don't know if it would taste good or bad. Uh, I've eaten a lot of good cakes and also a lot of bad cakes. Uh... Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is really fun. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I don't know about this place. Oh, I like this a lot actually, this rules. Oh, the helmet plus Bob. <laughs> What's that scraping sound? Fork, fork, fork. a lot of this like levels design because it feels very much like they went like hello this is tim psychonauts here i see you've completed the helmet full bear level and wasn't sure about whether or not uh the implication was that bob and helmet were gay and getting gay married let me make that a little bit more obvious for you just in case just in case it wasn't explicitly clear to you allow me to help you i'm following <laughs> I figured that would happen. I think that's what more collectathons need is gay wedding levels, honestly. That sounds like a joke, but I've only been more serious about a couple other things in my life. Oh, I see how to get here now. There's a climbable bit here. Uh-huh. 
then I can. Nice. Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Got that ham tag? We now we can tag our ham. It's a cool view. No, I didn't want to go fully back. There was another one there. I seen it. Yep. Hey. Ah, I forgot to do the dive. Do that again. Don't make me do the Patrick Stewart bit collectible. <laughs> Platformers are inherently gay? I mean, they are when I play them. They are when I play them. Gods give me strength. From my dreams. Yep. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go home now. Ooh, I like the visual on those candles, though. That's really cool. Oh, I see. You're supposed to do one, two, three, like that. I skipped one and went right to two. Look at how pretty the flame is on these. These candles look yummy, yummy, delicious. You are the one. First, we have to rescue Ham. Bob's emotional baggage is also. Hope that feels better. Okay, now let's. And then we'll get uh stop and gun. Can't hurt now. Healing, and then we get uh, give time to stop. And stop, and stop and if I can find the cause of this bad mood, maybe I can get rid of it. Oh, that's bombs! Oh god, that's bombs! Get rid of this guy. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. There we go. Job's done. Wow. Remind me not to invite you to my wedding. Wow, yeah, the bad mood thing sure was on the... The, the, the table that, like, Ford and Lucy were, wasn't it? Wait, was, was that their table or was that this one? It was close to them, I think. It was their table. Okay. There. Balloons! Or not tent, uh, boat. I see that up there. I see that up there. You can't hide from me. Ha ha! Plop. How many collectibles have we got here? Uh, we're just missing. Couple figments in a vault. 
Huh. Nice. <laughs> I don't know where some of those figments are, they're on, they're on the secret slide. I guess it's not so secret, but uh... In we go! Look, I've already given Bob two of those seeds. They're harmless. You... what? You have no idea the harm you've done, do you? Nope! Time to get serious. Really weird uh, and avant-garde of them to just have like a like an advertisement mid-level, like a pretty serious level for like serious satellite radio. <laughs> a little odd, but I mean, I get it. You, you need money to make a game. I'm running out of places to hide this thing. Ooh, this is good. Nobody actually eats wedding cake, right? What do you, What do you mean they don't? Well. I like wedding cake. Isn't that the whole point is to eat it? Down here, kid. Get me out of here. I don't want to miss the ceremony. Oh, that looks like death if I go down there, so let's not go down there. I've already got time stuff on. Never, never, ever apart forever. Cute. But also, oh, oh no. I think we're saying the same thing. These are like little, uh, dollops of icing. At first I thought they were like onions or garlic or something. Here's all this free garlic we hit at the bottom of your cake. All these free onions for you. Take a big bite. That's some fun little bounce pads. But, um, look, guys, look, it's one of my greatest achievements, Wedding Cake 4, for the Game Boy Advance. Incredible, incredible. I appreciate you offering to carry me down the aisle. My uh, regular carrier broke a wing when we crashed into the Champagne Tower. <laughs> I'm fine, though. Didn't feel a thing. Takes a lot to crack this old noggin. Is this as fast as you can go? Isn't this sort <laughs> nice? Otto made it in his metal shop just for the ceremony. I'm surprised the old show-off didn't sign it. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm ready to go in quite yet. Why don't you just set me down over there, okay? Okay. Auto made it! Auto cared! Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm feeling a little off. And I don't want to ruin the ceremony. <laughs> oh! See what I mean? Hmm. Real human skull inside the font, huh? They never see it coming. It'll surely make a splash at your next wedding. Yep. I do also realize the implication here is like... Guilt about his husband's death. Isn't it? Also, yeah, the, the full-on fondant nipples, huh? Yama yama, question mark. This man, Helmut Fulbear, a happy 
happiest day of my life. I used to think I loved plants more than people until I met this man. When these feelings appeared in my heart, I thought they were weeds and I tried to pull them out. But this mighty oak has given me shade, shelter, and something to lean on when I needed it. Just when I thought I was turning to seed, you made me bloom again. I do. jump here that would be disrespectful. But it does let you go behind the van in case there's a collectible. There isn't. But... <laughs> Pretty. I like the effects of the, like, the bits of the wall just, like, collapsing upwards like that. Me and Trog did the same thing. Yeah, we got collectible brain. <laughs> Good to see you again, Helmet. I'll make sure this gets back to Bob. Also, I didn't realize the game was forcing me to walk. I was walking slow because I just wanted to hear all the dialogue. And then I got farther and realized, oh, you can't run at all here. go back there to get the ones I missed in that bottle. What if I go right back? That's the thing. What if I go back for the goodies, though? I missed one. I missed one. We're going back. We're going back after this run. I missed one. I don't know about this place. Yep. We're going back. I missed one. I just didn't know about that place, so... <laughs> One more time! <laughs> in a couple now. I don't know about this place. Well, if you insist. Oh! Well, Bob, you did it! Yep, I did it. Why so nervous? I'm just... I'm starting to remember why I got rid of those seeds. Painful thoughts of memories. I warned you, and I warned you, but did you listen? No! But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Again. doing to him? Leave him alone! I'm protecting him! Protecting him? 
for what? You're about to find out. Okay, here we go. pick up the ground pin is messing me up uh, because I keep picking up bits of the ground instead of uh, picking up the exploding bits. Uh, also, yeah, that guy's spitting fire because we're fired. <laughs> Let's go for this. That off. Don't hit that, Bobby! I've been hit with bigger tomatoes than that. I'll soon it up the hot one. That won't. Bombs away. Oh, did I fall? I have so many pins. I have every pin in the game. I bought all the pins. Hold on, Agent Zanato. I'll get you out of there. I knew those seeds were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. Oh no. Time stop. Uh, first, I should make a bud. Oh, it's immune to Okay. I get it. There we go. I did if just have I can to wait find a bit. the cause of this bad mood, maybe I can get rid of it. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't think gardening is supposed to hurt this much. It doesn't need to hurt at all. Doesn't need to hurt you, I mean. Hey, look, a mermaid! Uh, I'm a friend. You make it so hard for me to... 
Maybe I should keep uh, the blast My job. here to do the chip damage. So nice here, but I will never oh, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Why are my control oh my controls got inverted for a second. Oh, because the moth hit me. I see. I've been hit with The moth does death stuff. There we go. You get lost, kid. How can you do this to Bob? You love him. Love? <laughs> I don't really love him. If I did, how could I have left him all alone? Helmet? Helmet would never say that. He's starting to realize. So bad at gardening yourself. Oh, think you can handle them now? Willing to give it a try. How about those? It's a lot of seeds, huh? Well, I'll just take them one at a time. There you go. That's the spirit. Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? <laughs> so, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little... yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. You talking about the vines or that beard? Who's this? Helmet. So this is where you ran off to. Right, he doesn't Figures. know. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time. Until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Oh. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. <laughs> oh. Uh, and he's not as cute as you either. <laughs> Neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What does that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. Oh. There it goes. 
Prepare. Who knows what you will find inside Nona's mind? Be sure you're ready before activating the astrolathe. New mission. Start the astrolathe when ready. With the bees and vines cleared away, we should be able to use the astrolathe to repair Nona's fractured, fractured mind. All I have to do is start at the machine to begin the operation. I should make sure I'm mentally prepared before diving in. Is this a point of no return? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a point of no return until you finish the game, but... Like, there's, there's, there's a post-game. You can go back to all the areas. So it's not like once you go here, you can never go back. It's once you go here, you have to finish the video game, more or less. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Yes, I'm ready to go to the collective unconscious. It's, it's point of buckle up your seatbelt more than anything. Point of get ready to go to work. Point of the daily grind. Yep. Let's see, we were just missing, uh... What were we missing? A couple of figments in a memory vault. Hmm. Well, this place is improved. Bob really does have a green thumb. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Oh, you know, inch by inch, row by row. Mind if I sail around and tie up some loose ends? Okay, but listen. <laughs> I have all the seeds I need, okay? Gotcha. No seeds, I promise. <laughs> I do like the little helmet cactus. Where the hell could those last things oh. be? Hey, look, it's my hey, good friend. Buddy. I need to get somewhere quick. My good friend, she was a destination. Yep. That's right, that takes you off. Hmm. That's where Lily was. We did miss a vault in here, yeah. I'm not quite sure where that could be. We should probably check some of the other trees to see if there's any other coconut type figments on them. Can you still go in these bottles? Yes, you can. Okay. Oh. 
here. No way to get him to the spit of the boat. What level am I? Three million. Uh, I'm the strongest bitch alive. Oh, I'm falling. Uh, in portal ways. Slide around for a wee bit. Fire. Awesome. No. Oh hey, these guys no. are back. to slow down. Whenever uh, the architect is like, not now, but I'm working, immediately just turns into an airplane and starts making noises. <laughs> working hard. Bubble juice in my nose that time. All right, that's the ball. That's how we get it. How do you see me? Is a little package? Yeah, a little package. Cute. Stuck there for a sec. <laughs> I was trapped there momentarily. Let's see. Let's see. Checked mine here already, I think. Yeah. There we go. Did I check behind this one? 
do. Okay. Oh, there is a pigment right there. How many are we missing? Um, eight. There's one. Over there. Oops. I miss. You're gonna eat ice cream now? Hey, hell yeah! Have fun! There we go. Now one. The music in this area reminds me of like Mario Sunshine. Above. <laughs> How do I get through this bit? Oh yeah, wait for you. One more time around the block, Jeeves. Oh, too slow. Put me down, wretched demon. Nothing up there, it looks like. Hello down there! Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. Nothing there. I hope you're not taking me back to your nest to, uh, feed something. Have an air sickness bag. We checked all that area. Name for me this monster so roughly bearing me o'er the sea. Oh, this is a good plopping sand. Hi, have you met my friend? They just love to fly and fly. Oh, right, you slide on that. I forgot. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Anything over here? I have to look in every single corner. Tarzan like yells. Wait a second. What am I doing up here? Nothing there. <laughs> These upper ways get here. Check there already, but it's supposed to be one more yeah. time around the block, Jeeves. Anything down there? Name Other for me this monster so roughly bearing me o'er the sea. Looks like it's just one place. Okay. I do love the bird stock sound effect they're using. It's a classic. Hey, I can see your house from here. Is it green? Uh, nothing on top of these rocks, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say this mind is my favorite, not because it's bad. Uh, it's really good, I like it a lot, but just because, like, uh... Helmet's mind is a really, really tough axe to beat, you know? Put me down, wretched demon! Yep! I'm gonna go check up here. No, that's an invisible wall, right. been any of the mines yet that I've, like, not really liked. Uh, oh, I felt really good about, like, all of them so far. It's a fun little swing around animation that he does. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cassie's is also really good. Granted, I feel like I could say that about, like, all of them. I could, I could just say, yeah, that one's also really good about, like, every level in this game. 
Yeah, I hear a lot of people weren't super keen on uh, Compton's level their first go around just because, like, you know, there's the time limit there, so that's kind of stressful. But, like, I don't know, I liked it. It's it's the kind of time limit that I think is, like, interesting in a video game. I just realized that's a big lift, hand. By the way. I didn't catch your. I just realized that's a statue of, like, him when he was younger, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. Can I swing around here? No, I'm just gonna fall. That would have been a fun place to have something there. Hello down there! Anything up there? Hi! Have you met my friend? They just love to fly and fly. <laughs> up in the air, Junior Man! I hope you're not taking me back to your nest to, uh, need something. Okay, no secret goodies in the water over there. As far as Does I can anyone tell, happen at least. To have an air sickness bag? The swing even here. Missed the jump on. Let's try and get back up there. Oh. He's down here. Which just bounced you back over here. Okay. say the swinging in this looks and feels good? Oh yeah. Uh, it is... I keep missing it because I didn't do the double jump but I think I already got it there. Uh, it, it feels like leagues better than uh, the stuff in one and like I really liked the, the movement in one but uh, man wild what like years and years of experience making platformers uh, can do to improve a platformer, huh? I want to see what's up there. I want to see what was up there. Breath from above. <laughs> oh, that's just the previous part of the level. I see. I see. Or like a later part or something. It's something. Like that. Wait a second! What am I doing up here? Let's go down there. Oh, it is literally just the next bit. Oh. Uh, hey, I can see your house from here. I was so convinced I had found like a cool portal thing, and no, it literally is just the next bit of the level. Yep. I'm a fool. <laughs> Amazing boundary break discovered! It's just a bit of terrain on the other side of a, of a wall. Wait a second, what am I doing up here? Breath from above! <laughs> right, and there's this bit here. Here. Yeah. I guess I can live without uh, having all the figments right away for this level. I can always do that post game. Yep. Never did come out here and explicitly say, yeah, by the way, I'm gonna 100% all this game on stream, so like. I don't gotta. I never made that promise to you or myself. 
I can do whatever I want. The top favorite levels of most people are Psy King Sensori and, and Black Velvetopia, two colorful worlds of awesome large men. Yeah, what are the things in common here? Number one, uh, lots of very gorgeous vivid colors. Uh, number two, uh, they're the brains of two guys that are so humongous big. Uh, number three, all of my gay friends are in love with them. Follow the, follow the numbers, follow the money. It's all connected. It just takes me right back here. Okay. Hey, little buddy. I need to get somewhere quick. I would have, like, these three more other segments to check. You know what? Nah, let's just go back. Uh. I'm gonna... I could have just smelling salt it out. I suppose I didn't have to go here, did I? There we go. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. Number one, that's gay. Number two, that's gay. Number three, that's gay. I uh, have been sitting for a bit, so I'm gonna get up, have a stretch, turn the lights on in my room, uh, stuff like that. We'll be back real soon, and then we'll dive into uh, Grandma's brain. Make sure you're getting up and having yourself a stretch, too. I've been going for, like, two-ish hours now, so if you've been sitting this whole time, uh, make sure you're taking care of your legs and all that. Uh, you'll thank me when you're 70. Be right back.
Hey, what's going on? Hey, I'm back. What's going on? Went for a pace around the house and I got some more water and I uh, looked outside and I didn't see any animals. You're doing crush poles? Uh, I don't know what that means. How many apples can you crush with your bare hands? Uh, if you vote five, you're lying. I know you're lying if you vote five, because no one can do that. Uh, except for, like, vampires and the, the guy who only sees you if you type hashtag Super Sage. Uh, who is a nightmare guy? <laughs> Lobato got second place? That doesn't make sense. Lobato's not a number. How many apples can you crush? Oh, I can do Lobato. That's, 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 that's not an answer. You're wasting your ballot. You're going to jail. You're under arrest. For apple crimes. <laughs> We're gonna play video games again. Tab back on over to the game view. Before we jump into the device, what if I go say hi really quick to, uh, to Ford and Nona? Let's see how they're doing. Rad should crush apples in his head? No, he's too busy. He's got Psychonaut stuff to do. I hate to interrupt, but... Is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? Technically. I got the astrolathe working. I'll go get it started. You two come down when you're ready. That's my boy. Okay, bye. Stay away from the water! Okay, no, 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 sure, no problem. I, uh... Kind of have to jump over it, though. Is it just me, or does she sound, like, more stressed out about it than she did, like, any other time before this? Yep. You crush apples with your teeth and jaws? That's good, that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, that's what horses are also supposed to do. That's their job, is to destroy apples. Okay. I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm ready. For whatever might happen. Took you long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Auto over-engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Hi, Otto. Otto, you're looking well fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. The whole gang's gonna be here, aren't they? Ford! Ford, is it really you? Oh. Cassie! Compton! And Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. Oh. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? <laughs> That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Fulbear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. <laughs> I missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. 
Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the bean bags. Remember? Ah, Lucy. Oh. Hi, what are you doing here? Everybody ready? Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. <laughs> but if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, kid. I appreciate the honesty. In we go! Yeah, I, I do like that Otto is channeling through his little pendant. That's a cute detail. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you the high-flying, death-defying, ironically named Aquato Family Suckers! Augustus! Donatella, Dion, Crazy, Rasputin, Murtala, and little baby Creepy. And the most important member of the family, one who's been here the whole time. Nona Aquato, right where she belongs in the heart of her family. Hi. What is this? It's a mental construct I made for Lucy, to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. I do like that this is the meat circus theme that they're playing here. Ew! What did you step in? I don't know, it looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. Has anyone seen my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Raz, you just killed a man. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. Raz, you fully killed someone. <laughs> Raz, you killed your double. This is a time paradox. Okay, so you can't shenanigans your way up there like that, at least. Can Donatella balance her duties as a mother with the demands of a family? Witness this incredible balance and act in person. I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> I wanted to know what it would do. It turns out it just kills you. Who could have seen that coming? Get right up to the wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father daughter team of Crazy and Augustus Aquato. One will live, one will die. Maybe. Who knows? Only one way to find out. 
Up and up. What do you think about the game having a whole bunch of elderly people as characters? Uh, it's fucking great, and I think that more games and stories in general should have cool people in them. Time for the deluge of Grilovia. She just thought she was raining them out. But it broke the dam. <laughs> it was Donatello's favorite son. I predict it's whichever one successfully completes the nearly impossible balancing course. Hey, Flea Ford, how goes the show? Well... There's a little hold up with our knife throwing extravaganza, but I'm sure they'll get it sorted out soon. Oh no, knife throwing. There's still time to catch Donatella and her amazing balancing ball routine. There's gonna be some amazing feats of strength soon, as soon as Queepy starts playing on that merry-go-round. Still plenty of show to enjoy, my lad. <laughs> Yippee! Hey, this balancing act is impossible. Fool high! And quite entertaining. Come see for yourself right now at the Razorback Arena. The little flea fork voice is fun. I can't talk to you. You won't let me talk to you. Off we go. Dion does not want to talk to his brother. I forgot to upgrade my things. Uh, enemies take damage when they melee attack your archetype. Okay. Cool. Uh, increase the devastation of wrecking ball attacks or radial shockwave. Sure. That way my aerial attack has a bit more used to it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, pin-wise... Uh, Probably want to equip uh, more punch damage over uh, waste paper. There we go. Uh, oh. Simply stop time. Figments. Hey. Whole lot of wrenches in here, huh? I'm supposed to be doing my weightlifting, but we're stuck on the body control merry-go-round. <laughs> oh, down I go. <laughs> Great. That's the gun. That's not, uh, their voice. Little bug. Little circus bug. Oh, cute! That's the- that's- that's their little- their little wagon, their caravan. Can Don 
gonna tell a balance of duties as a mother with the demands of the circus? Join her at the Razorback Arena and witness this incredible balancing act in person. Probably no jumping up there about that's it. Okay. <laughs> sadder than a child stabbing their parent is when it happens without an audience. <laughs> Don't let this sacrifice be for nothing! Jeez. I was probably meant to just jump off that. Son. I predict it's whichever one successfully completes the nearly impossible balancing course. I like this little, like, arts and crafts type area. It's really cute. Step right up to the wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father-daughter team oh, of Crazy and Augustus Aquattle. One will live, one from will my die. Stay. Maybe. Who oh, knows? Only one game. way to find oh, out. Can make a mistake, Crazy. Help of your leg! Now pick up a knife and throw it! What do you mean it grew back? Oh no! Oh no! I'll just sit here spinning like a windmill then. Good! Wondering where I went wrong as a parent. Jeez. There we go. That's another way up here. Notes I miss around here. There's those ones there. They say this balance and act is impossible. Foolhardy and quite entertaining. Come see for yourself right now at the Razorback Arena. Okay, time to go. We what? still have two acts to get through. Light throwing and bulk balancing. Oh, her favorite. I see you over there. I see you hiding over there. Hey, hang on a sec, that's 20 gift subs, that is noticed. Jeez. That's extremely generous of you, thank you very much. That was from the Tunnel Man. Thank you. Oh. Where are you going? You almost hurt? Him, Dion, do this one? In my sleep? It's a better show if you do it, Rasputin. Because the audience isn't sure if you'll make it. Scary. And Donatella balance of duties as a mother with the demands of the circus? Ball, Join ball, her ball, at the ball, Razorback ball. Arena yes, and yes. witness this incredible balancing act in person. It's probably easier if the ball is in the center of this area. There we go. Ball, 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 ball. I didn't realize I'd have to jump that bit until it was too late. Also, yeah, Chipmunk Yuri Lowenthal was deeply funny. Ah, close. Let's line this up. There we go. Context of what we're doing, the wording on that worries me a little. Let's do the trick again. Boring. Better go help with one of the other acts, Patatino. Give the people something new. Patatino. Yep. Yeah, Dion is extremely Yuri Lowenthal. There are a couple extremely Yuri Lowenthal characters in this game. Round and round the wheel goes. Will Frazy kill her papa? No one knows! I just noticed we had a level 5 pipe train. Thank y'all. That's very generous of you. I appreciate that. Okay, what's next? 
Hey, Fleezy. Not now, Raz. I'm trying to get up the nerve to stab Dad. Wait, that... Hey, that, that wasn't like the chipmunk voice. That was... That was her normal voice. I wonder if that's just like a sound bug or if that's uh Hmm. Hey, Fleezy. Not now, Raz. I'm trying to get up the nerve to stab Dad. Hmm. <laughs> Cannot talk to Dad when he's on the wheel. You think she's a I I I mean, yeah, she is she is a bug. She's a She's a cockroach. <laughs> Oh, then the wheel moves. I see. Do not shoot your dad with a knife. I missed. You kill Dad, and I'll tell Mom. There we go. And I didn't hurt Dad. You did it, my boy. You're my favorite son now. Wait, what was that? Wow. Flea Dad tells it like it is. <laughs> okay, my turn to throw knives at Dad. Great. Not the most functional family. <laughs> but at least they're all alive. Okay, all the children are safe. No? I will show you my little secret. Oh? Come with me to the high dive. Oh. Alright, well, let's get high then. I could have worded that a little better, I suppose, but... So what's the secret? It's at the top of the ladder. No, no, we haven't had a high dive in the Aquato family circus for years. You know, the curse. You know, the more I think about that curse, <laughs> the more I think it's a lot of Gravalsknook. Gravalsknook. I wonder if that's like a real word or not. No, no. Are you saying there's no curse? Now get up there! Let's get up there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I gotta see what the secret is. I gotta know, I gotta know. It's me, famous creepy. You know me, you love me. It's a little high up, isn't it? I, I do really like the way these ladders wiggle around. Oh, hello, Tag. Nona, what are you doing? Getting out of here. You're coming with me. Nona! Oh no! Bye bye! <laughs> Goodies over here. Anything down here? No, just over here. It's the whole circus set! Oh. Suitcase tag. Gotcha! And a baggage tag. Well, our note is feeling really normal and not at all strange. So let's go follow her. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, it's a little cup. That's an unfortunate time for the controller to DC. <laughs> Ford, our circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. No, no, I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley. Stinky dam is over this way. What? Wow. Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. Hmm. That makes me wonder if, like, uh... Yep. This is like a subconscious thing just emerging now, or if like she 
maybe was much more aware of who she was uh, all this time, and so this has just been here. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, welcome to Nona's Crafted World. This is the awesome realm of Yarn Yoshi, Grandma. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Really awesome thing to get if you love Steamer Trunk. Uh, does that say low marbles? Uh, Lungfish Opolis? Is that what that says? That's cute. Yeah, Lungfish Opolis, huh? Nona and Linda somehow have a psychic link and they're friends. I've decided that's what that means instead of it just being like a fun little uh, callback. Oops. Oops. This is probably dangerous to step in, but what I, I want to see what the hand looks like. <sighs> it's like a little knitted hand. At least that's what it looks like. <laughs> I like all these knitted fish. That's cute. Yep. Oh, I'll take this nugget. Oh. Ha! Here's the hat box tag. We got three of the tags now. That was fast. We've also got uh, most of the, the, the figments for this area, or close to half at least. Uh, which leads me to believe this level's not super long, and then the finale one is... I guess we'll see. Like everything, everything. Oh, a fire! What did that move when I. Oh, there we go. That's how we get up there. I've gotta go back at some point to uh to Bob's level and get like some stuff that I missed, but like I have literally everything else everywhere else aside from like uh one overworld thing and uh like some side quests and stuff. Notice call for help. Oh no. Hey, that guy looks familiar, doesn't he? That, uh... That, uh... Looks a lot like Truman Zanotto, doesn't... Oh. Huh. I see. I guess that explains, uh, who the guy was, what gave the pamphlets to Raz. Wait. Son of a bitch, she tricked me. Son of a bitch, she tricked me. <laughs> My own grandmother was the mole. <laughs> but how did she have this? Oh, I just realized she was borrowing the hat and beard. Oh my god, the bearded lady doesn't even have a real beard. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Anything else hidden here, Bats? Hold 
What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. And then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. Oh, my sweet little Gussie. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait. Bye. You weird sons of bitches, don't you dare get weird about her saying Gussie. I swear to God, I'm gonna ban every single one of you myself. Don't fucking do it. Quick, let's distract the chat by burning things. No, none of that burned. Fuck, okay. Uh, we can rail grind. Oh, that made a ball of yarn! Cute! There we go. Down you go. And I should get a gun out. There we go. <laughs> also, thank you, Pseudonym Jones, for the reset. I appreciate it. Uh, ah, bouncing ball. Ball. Ah, this is not a grind rail. This is just a normal one. This one, though. Nice. Oh, there was a guy there. Okay, uh, let's time stop. That's not time stop. This is, though, now. They killed my archetype. I've never felt so. You're gonna pay for that? You're gonna pay for attacking my boy? Very much okay with this game not having uh, the confusion grenades. They were kind of. They almost felt kind of lackluster. I never really felt like I had much of a reason to use them against, like, normal enemies, and. They didn't really do much against bosses unless that was, like, the mechanic of the fight, specifically. Uh, I feel like the time stop is a much more interesting evolution of that. Because, you know, it does what a uh, uh, confusion grenade did in that it, like, stops enemies, uh... But... It also has, like, more interesting mechanics. Oh, they're all gone. Great work, bud. How's it going? Feeling a bit flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're already full on health. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, grappling on you removes your, your, your explodey bit, doesn't it? Makes you drop it, huh? Oh, that's just back to where we were. No, thank you. Yeah, I like that the powers in this game, like, all feel more versatile, like... With a couple exceptions, they all feel like they have more use outside of just, uh... Well, this is your combat power, or this is, like, your, your different power for, uh... Something else, sort of thing. Like, they have, they have in-combat and out-of-combat uses, and that's neat. Yeah, like, clairvoyance is even usable in combat. I never use it, but, like, you can. Oh, good boy. This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolathe hypnosis. I never use the astrolathe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself oh, after I was gone today. from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you. Hey, Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's teasing him. Cute. <laughs> also interesting how we've seen like a lot of the tags, but none of the baggage yet. Uh. Also, this level's called Lucretia's Lament. Ford built some sort of mental construct in Malig uh, Lucy's mind to make her think she's my Nona. I need to make sure she doesn't suspect that we're actually there to remove something dangerous. We've got our two uh, memory vaults. We're missing one nugget of wisdom. There's no half of mines. Uh, none of the baggage yet, and most of the figments. <laughs> Bouncing. First tag. Got the first tag. Also, yeah, I do like genuinely love the revelation that, like, you know, uh, Ford is the one that sort of like put her on the path to doing this, but like, she genuinely did really love this family. That makes me smile. Her love is real. It's always real. Oh right, I'm burning my body. I forgot. Oops. Sorry, bud. Don't really know why I did that twice if I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> those plop dump guys. So long to figure out? Huh. Well, I just saw it lit up when I went to go burn things, so I realized I could interact with it, and I wanted to see if I could lift it. <laughs> yeah, she's filled with, like, a ton of doubts and regrets, isn't she? Hmm. I wonder what it could mean. I'm wondering if there's other buttons like that I missed earlier in the level. Ah oh well. You can always come back here at the end of the game or something. Not the end of the world. Ah! There's another button! Anything over here? That's just teasing us with that area there. I see. No, I've come to open up this hole! Ah, 
There it is. I'll take this nugget. That's all the nuggets. That's it. I think I've collected every figment in this month. That's all the figments. Okay. And I have all the tags. I guess we don't have to come back to this level, do we? We just gotta find where all that emotional baggage is being kept. who gave me the pamphlet to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a Psychonaut? Well, it is either you are crazy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. <laughs> hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic non-fiction periodical. Oh my god, Raz. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Oh. Usually I was happy, just sewing dance and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. Ah. Like that. I forgot how much I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together. All right, here we go. Time for the gauntlet. Maybe I should keep the fire away when I'm using my little guy. Now that I think about it. over here. Let's, uh... No running. No running. <laughs> Oops. Damn, yeah, this just, like... This is a good strat. Why haven't I been doing this from the start against these guys? Whoops. Slaps you. Uh, time stop, and then I want... Burn you. And then take out the gun. Let's see how tough everybody is now. I heard a judge. Uh, there you are. Get rid of this little guy. Uh, let's see. Time to stop you. Burn you. Court is adjourned. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Alright, come on. Throw it at me. I got a really good idea for you. Rez, I need to stay here with Lucy. Once you reveal the lock, we'll blast it. Come on, come on, do it again. 
out of the way. No, I don't think I'm hurting it at all. Oh, I just noticed our little guy's uh, taken out. Our little guy's taken out. Okay, so for now, let's do time stop and fire. Time stop you. Burn you. Oh no, if you can hear her whimpering in the background. Poor Lucy. Okay. Show me what you got. We have to end this one for all. Just get clairvoyance ready. That's time bubble. Clairvoyance. There we go. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. Almost done, Lucy. What? Oh. Huh. There we go. Hey, there's all the Great baggage. Job, Rez. Now, open that locket, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. Wow, who would have figured it'd all be here, huh? Yep, what's that sound? <laughs> I know what this guy needs. Literally all of it is right by the dam, huh? I think I hear some emotional baggage here. I wonder what that could mean. <laughs> and hey, yeah, all of the dam, just like earlier, is made out of like different like luggage cases too. Oh, that's a bad time for the DC. <laughs> Come on, work with me here, bud. I hope you don't mind me sorting all your emotional baggage, Nona. This is like really, really cool uh, and effective, like visual storytelling. Uh, and I hate that even in the face of that, my immediate thought is just like three quarters of my brain as loud as it can, screaming, I know writers who use subtext and they're all cowards. <laughs> the thing is that this rules though, so. watch Garth Marenghi's Dark Place one of these days. I know that's what the subtext joke is from, but I've never actually gone and, like, watched it myself. That's my sister, Marona. But... But... Help me focus the astrolathe, Rasputin. Quickly! Here we go! We made many mistakes. But now, we're gonna face them. I couldn't before. I was young, scared, and alone. But now, I'm only one of those things. <laughs> oh, he's grown. 
Let's hope the astrolathe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry, Ford. I'll be right here beside you! <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. They took him out. Jackpot! Bullseye! I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of the mole. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which you didn't need. This is no time for flirting. Come on. Agents? We have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. Uh-oh. It's okay. You're safe. What happened? We were... You were obviously in distress, so I pulled you out. Is that... her? Ah. Uh. I told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend. Maligula. That's not his girlfriend, you little snitch. I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> My god! Oh yeah, funny story. That's not really Nick from the mailroom. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. New mission, talk to Lily. Oh, cute. She basically sees Raz as Raz, Raz, but he's got a little pompadour. That's cute. Lily! Raz! Listen, I've been following my dad for a while, and he's acting really weird. Hmm. We need to get to the bottom of this. How? Let's get Sasha and Mia to help. But my dad might be gone by the time we get back. Give me a sec. I'll figure out a plan. Okay. So why are you here? Uh, is that all? I've had a lot on my plate lately. You certainly have a heaping helping of excuses on there, it seems. Right, you still just think I'm the mole then. Did you bring Truman out here? Why? I've had my suspicions about you for a while, kid. I just thought the Grand Head should see what you've been up to. You think I'm the mole? Why else would you be sneaking around with Maligula? She's my grandma. Kind of. Oh, that totally clears things up. Look, Norma. Uh, Raz, if you don't mind, it's not good for my rep to be seen talking to, you know, a mole. God. Truman, why did you pull me out? Ford and I were about to face Maligula. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll get your chance. What are you doing? Where are you taking her? We need to get her where she belongs. How did you know that wasn't Nick? And why did you call him an it? <laughs> I've been called worse. I need to go back in there. Trust me, you've done enough in there. <laughs> I need to go back in there. Trust me, you've done enough. Lily! Raz! Listen! I've been... I need to see what's going on inside his mind. I need to go in. Into the Grand Head. You're right. We do. <gasps> Is Lily coming with us? Is Lily coming with us? Is Lily coming with us? Wait. What? You're not going to make me do this alone, are you? 
Fuck yeah! Oh, I was kind of hoping she'd be on the loading screen. Wow. Jeez, get over yourself, Dad. What the heck? Right. Let, let's split up and compare notes in a bit. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Here are his outfits. That's pretty normal. In his mind? Have you ever seen my father? He never thought about his clothes. He was dad? just he was just kind of wearing pajamas, wasn't he? Maybe your dad was considering a change of beard? Never! Not my dad! Yep. What the come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come back. Do we have any other things we can upgrade? Levitation. There we go. Increased devastation on the ball. Now we have to get to the max level to get uh, this. Strange. It's almost like he comes here to practice being himself. Rasputin, I gotta tell you, I don't like it. Weird. That, uh... I feel like I this explains a couple of things. I guess he's really proud of his diplomas. Then why doesn't he hang them up in his office? He's secretly proud? <laughs> why would he... Did I get that one that was running away? I don't remember. But... There it is, there it is. Uh... That's... that's our little friend, the mouse. The rat. This is just... Lily, take it from me. All dads are weird. I just don't know what's wrong with him. Lily, take it from me. All dads are weird. I just don't know what's wrong with him. I don't really think of your dad as a... vain man. He's not! I'm telling you, something's not right in this stupid place! Hmm. I wonder what this could mean. Hey, this statue. Careful, Raz. That's still my dad. I think there's something under here. Yeah, more plaster. I just noticed chat's on, like, emote-only mode. Were people really being that shitty about things? Come on, y'all. You should know better than that. Holy fuck, I was right. Whoa, Lily. You're Holy fuck, I was right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. A thing I said is a joke. It turned out it's true, huh? Hmm. Okay. Dad was a really big fan of Nick from the mailroom. Well, most people are except my dad. My dad once told me he thought Nick John Smith was an obsequious little Lick Spittle. Lick Spittle? That's how my dad talked. My real dad. Raz, this isn't my dad's mind. Lily! Ow. Oof. Hey, you kids, get off that carpet. VIPs only. Who are you? If it's not your dad's mind, whose mind is it? His. Nick's brain is missing, but I mean, Nick? Make way, common folk. Make room for Zazarovich Crystal Malik, future Czar of Grolovia. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is 
the Zazarovich? I can't believe it. What's a Zazarovich? The missing heir to the throne of Grulovia. Oh my god. He lived in exile with his family after Maligula destroyed the capital. Why is his brain in your dad's body? And where is my father's real brain? Come on, let's make him talk. Come on, he's getting away. And Official here I... business. And here I was thinking to myself all that time ago, man, it sure is wild Move how aside. they got, uh, how they got, um, Elijah Wood, like this really big name poll, um, for this, like, throwaway character with, like, the most average Joe name who has, like, five lines in the entire game. Uh, <laughs> fucking turns out. <laughs> Coming through. That rules. That rules a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, no, you can't walk on that. You can't walk on that. Don't, don't, don't try and walk on that. You can't do it. Uh... Yeah, Nick Nick John Smith is an extremely oh god, I'm pretending to be a white guy from America. What kind of name do I come up for myself? Type of name, isn't it? <laughs> Pardon us. Who do you think you are? The Zazarovich? I mean not yet, but Sorry, excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Help! This person's cutting in line. Sorry. Get behind me, punk. Pardon us. We've been standing here forever. Sorry. Back in a line, bozos. Bozos. Excuse me. Kids today. Huh. Look how. Hi. Can we get on the ride, please? Did you two cut in line? We're VIPs. Oh, does that stand for vertically impaired preteens? <laughs> Raz is short. Oh, come on! This is an emergency! Uh, it's for your own safety. Come back when you're older. <laughs> okay, we're older. Check us now. Oh, man. How long have I had this job? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> See you later, bud! Sorry, Grolovians only. What? You can't- It's okay, Raz. Go! Oh. Lily, don't worry. I have a plan. Hell yeah. Go get him, girl. Now? Hey! Follow that czar! Off we go! Alas, that was not meant to be. 
the Tsar's Minister of War and Protector of the People, General Maligula, had aroused the jealousy of the warmongering Ford Crawler. What the? He led his mob of psychonauts to gang up on Maligula, drowning the brave warrior. Just when I thought I'd heard every version of this story. And drowning much of Grunovia in the process. Why didn't the Tsar help Maligula in her time of need? No one knows, but historians agree it is Tsar Theodore's biggest failure. In the end, Grunovia, the Maleks, and Maligula were betrayed by the weakness of the Tsar and the bloodlust of the Psychonauts. Hmm. That is some messed up junk. It's like, hmm, this propaganda kind of sucks ass. Bro, I'm tan and I know this is some garbage. Hey, Raz. I'm watching you on the control panel here. Why'd you stop? This door won't open. What happened to the ride operator? He, uh, had an accident. <laughs> hmm. Looks like there's an electrical problem up above the ride. Okay, I'll drain the water so you can get up there. Thank you. If you can fix it, I should be able to get the ride going again from here. Check. <sighs> They're having so much fun on their date at the fun fair. Riding the rides, doing maintenance. Good for them. After the days they've had, they deserve it. Fatherland Follies. Truman Zanotto's grand head contains the wrong brain. Nick from the mailroom has been taking us for a ride this whole time because he's actually a uh, Zezarovich Crystal Malik, the heir to the throne of Grulovia. What is he up to? I have a feeling it's that he's trying to get Maligula out so that uh, he can, you know, control her slash get her on his side so that he can uh, get revenge on the Psychonauts and then uh, try and, like, reclaim the throne that he thinks he's owed. That's just my guess, though. <laughs> Who can say, really? Maybe he just wants a goddamn egg. I was hoping you could bust those up. Oh, right, this is just a facade. I can totally touch these. Hey, can you turn that shit off? <sighs> Thank you. Oh, wrong. Uh -oh. Now, what could this be? Yes! Got the duffel bag tag. Fucking, of course, that's the first one we get. <laughs> it really couldn't have been any other, could it have? <laughs> punch, see, punch, punch. Oh, cute. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. All of his time training uh, in that mini game in the first game has finally paid off. That rules. I was I was really hoping that hitting some kind of cutout at some point would make that happen. Oh god, it's so fucking quiet now. I think this is better actually. Little ominous, but uh. Okay, so we can go here. Yippee! They're all so happy. <laughs> You can use no, no, not that. Uh, clairvoyance on these. No, of course, these are mannequins, not people. Oh, there are like little jumpy bits up here. I see, I see, I see. Yep. 
Man, this is a really cool level so far. This is like... A much more interesting final level than, uh... Meat Circus was, and I really like Meat Circus thematically, but like the platforming is a little bit bobo. Ah, here's the hat box tag. Oh no, come back! The rat. Mm, the rat. You're mine now. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, I just realized these, like, slabs of, like, insulation are, like, brain chunks, aren't they? Hmm. Speedrunners are mad at this level? Why? This is, like, such a fun little playground to jump around in. Level tank your FPS on Xbox One? Oh, no. Seems to be running okay for me so far. Okay. Let's see if we can. There we go. Is this a. Uh... No, it's just a ball. Okay. not trapped forever, it's fine. It's fine, I got it. Yep. And you think it was well. Yeah. What's that over there? Oh, just a leg. A lot of eggs in here, huh? Just water here. Have I been in here? Uh, no, I haven't because that's just falling. Um. Yeah, that that does shine a whole different light on the whole Lily thinking that she was a terrible daughter uh, scene while uh, quote unquote Truman was knocked out because it wasn't Truman at all. It was this fucking guy. Go up this way now. Hmm. Yep. I wonder if you can. Yeah. You can get up here, and then uh, from here you can probably finagle your way on over to somewhere else. Uh can Hmm Hmm Why are speedrunners mad at this level? You can just get up here and go to the controls. That's easy. There's probably some other shit later. <laughs> There's probably some other shit later. <laughs> I'm almost certain that's a thing that runners were already aware of, right? Oh, because of the, the auto-scrolling bits. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's why they would be upset. Uh, that's fair. Uh, I don't know. I think auto-scrollers are a fun thing to work around. Uh, unless you, like, actually do find a way to skip them, in which case, hey, fun! Huh. This is not how I heard this story. Then again, I'm not sure who to trust anymore. Hey, Ford, think you can help me up into those rafters? Hmm. <laughs> 
Grilovia. Ah, little caviar boy. Living the fucking high life, I guess. Because the invaders came and he had the big strong psychic to take care of him. And he didn't realize that uh, his father fully intended to betray Maligula that whole time, huh? He didn't care, he didn't realize, he, or something like that. Hmm. Nice knife you got there, bud. Anything back here, first of all? No, no, no. Okay. When you were rolling around the mother lab, you heard workers complaining about rotten caviar in the vents again. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What's that sound? <laughs> the again there is what really gets me. The different psychonauts down there, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good callback to the, all the caviar and rotten food in the octopus room, isn't it? Uh, also, yeah, this is like the the last emotional baggage in this game, isn't it? Uh, we've only got a couple more to go because we've got uh, all the ones in Bob's bottles, so. These are our last little guys to pick up. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to say goodbye to him. Unless, you know, you, you get the game yourself and play through it yourself, then you gotta get them all yourself. And then you'll understand why that guy needs a duffel bag tag. Hopefully. I mean, I didn't understand it, but maybe you'll have a better shot at it. Game's real good. Uh, I would extremely recommend it if you've been enjoying these streams at all. Anything over here that I can get? You know, it's an expensive game. It's like what, uh, eighty dollars Canadian. So, like, you know, make sure it's within your price range and all that, but, uh... This game's fucking great! Uh... Given, like, the quality of everything I've seen, I think it's worth the price. Thanks for the lift forward! Oh, there we go. It is also on Game Pass if that's your jam. I'm not I'm not super big into subscription services if I can help it personally. That's just me though. Really hoping you guys would rise to the occasion. <laughs> Cute, this dialogue for that. <laughs> that jump was by accident, but uh also yeah, it is interesting how he's specifically using uh old man Ford here yep. instead of uh 
the younger Ford who would have been there at the time, he he has like no fucking idea personally what happened here. Oh, hang on, there's a highlighted message in chat saying you missed one figment uh at the bottom in a house. Cool. Uh you missed uh, the fucking rules of the chat that you need to read, uh, and so... I'm gonna ban you. Uh, goodbye! If you don't read the rules, uh, then you don't get to use the chat. Now I'm going to ignore it out of spite. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay, did that fix the problem? Looks good, Raz. Get back on the ride and I'll start it up again. Hey! Was it this figment? Was it this one here? Hmm. Was it this figment here that I missed? He made this one? Huh, what a shame, huh? It's too bad that I didn't get this one, huh? Oh, wait. That's not right. uh. Okay, uh... Roll out of there. There we go. Get these goodies. Okay, found the right one. How do you know for sure? Great. Jesus, you've been holding your own there, huh? I got you, bud. God, the slow motion, buddy. Burn you. Time out. Uh, grab your hammer. Chuck that. Get our chain blasts off. And slam. And slam. There we go. Still someone there? Still someone there? Don't say I never gave you that You thought you could get away, huh? You thought you could escape? Don't 
worry, flat me. I'll bring you back. Uh, rest in peace, little man. Gone but never forgotten. Oh, no, no, wait! Uh, <laughs> relax. I know what I'm doing. Now? Will you just get back on the dump ride? Such a shame, huh? Such a shame. I think they're gone by this point. I think they're gone by this point. <laughs> I think they've gotten the message by this point. <laughs> Fucking got him! Ouch! This dude really had no idea that the people Masita fucking resented him, huh? If only the Tsar had supported her more, not turned his back on her in her time of need. Maybe then his family would not have been forced into exile. Forced to wander the earth with no country across the frozen Arctic. The burning desert. The endless ocean. Ah, the ocean. He lived in the ocean. On his deathbed, Tsar Theodore gave young Bristol, who had suffered so much, a small ray of hope. That Maligula, protector of Brunovia, was still alive. And she she's my fake grandma! Why no one heard <laughs> from her? Surely Ford Crawler and his psycho spies must have her captive. Crystal Malik bravely decided then and there to find her, to undo his father's mistake, and to restore Maligula, the Maliks, and all of Brunovia to power. Hey! Are you stuck again? Functioning on your end? Sorry, closed for maintenance. Uh, and uh, for the glory of Grilovia, or whatever. Drop again, dear. What's the holdup? Hang on, I gotta talk to a guy about a door. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but this door over here? Sorry, busy. Busy with what? Propagandaneering. I'm creating a future chapter in this glorious, semi interactive location based epic. This treasure room tells the story of how once the Zazarovich finds Maligula and restores Grulovia to its former glory, the people will all share in unimaginable riches. But it's missing something. Not sure what. Like something to go in that big egg cup in the middle? Yeah, something there. What about like an egg? Maybe an egg? That's it! <laughs> See? Sometimes you just need a fresh set of eyes. Hey. You get me a big, beautiful, luxurious egg, and I'll use my pass to open that door for you. Deal! Hey, where do they keep the big eggs around here? Crystal told me the best eggs he ever found were out in the ocean. Whatever that means. Hmm. The ocean thing sure was interesting, considering how, uh... You know, um... What's it called? Uh... Rhombus of Ruin was set entirely in the ocean, huh? Also, yeah, the world shall taste my eggs! Hmm. That's got some interesting context now, too, doesn't it? 
careful now. What if I broke all your eggs? This is all gonna be deducted from my paycheck. It's okay, you're not real. Don't worry, that's insured. Oh my, please be careful. Are you doing this on purpose? Yes. Oh, this is all gonna be deducted from my paycheck. Are you doing this on purpose? Uh-huh. Okay, full health. Lobato said things about eggs in the ocean and also in Psychonauts 1 in one of the... Uh, the... 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 the vault things. Also, yes, I know, I know that this is, like, Fabergé eggs, but... it can be multiple things. I don't think it's all that unreasonable to be reading that deep into this. Things can be multiple things. Okay, I really want to find that other, um... That other record player to shut off. You put the egg in the basket, the old egg in the box, and the box in the ocean. Oh, you put the egg in the basket like you put Nick's brain in uh, Truman's body. You put the old egg in the box like the box that Truman was holding this whole game. Uh, except the box was supposed to go in the ocean. I guess that didn't work out, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Fun! <laughs> Thank you to whoever it was that oh. mentioned that line, because I probably would have forgotten it otherwise. I'll bet my little flat foot. Friend could get in there. Limbo! I would not go in there if I were you. Limbo! Limbo! Thanks, bud. Oops, sorry. Also, uh, man, this whole level sure does give a new concept, uh, to the, the, the name of the, 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 the molecular followers being delusionists, huh? Hmm. The people definitely loved you and definitely wanted you to be in power again. There we go. Made the jump. Turn that off. No more of that, okay? Elefanto. <laughs> also, yeah, the whole, hmm, yeah, you're always right. Hmm. <laughs> the rich, huh? Ow, son of a bitch. There we go. Uh, my man got slapped into the blender. Rest in peace. I miss Raz every day. Okay. We're close to all the figments, too. Like how the theme park illustrates how relatively shallow Crystal's motivations are. Uh huh. He just wants to be rich and powerful again. That's really about all it is, and he resents uh, the guy that he thinks came in and ruined everything for him. Man just wants his eggs. Yep. Uh, here we go. Anything over here? I think I hear some emotional baggage here. I need the purse tag here. I need the purse tag here. Hmm. Where the hell a purse tag? Oops. Oh. Magic's probably somewhere around here. <laughs> ah, a hole. Oh. Ah, hole. Oh, hole, huh? The hell, hole. I hear something bounce bouncing. Yep. There we go. First tag. Oh. Hmm. 
Nice warm fire. What else? We ah! Haha! Hoodies! And then some guys cleaning it up. Lily, do you see any controls for a giant painted mural with props? I see something called Glovian Diasporama. Jeez. It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. Hmm. Let's change the scenery. Okay. There are buttons for Arctic Exile, Adrift at Sea, and Desert Wasteland. How about Desert Wasteland? Interesting choice. I think I want to change something else now. Whatever. Could you move the family for me? Sure. Where do you want them? Stage left, right, or center? Mm. Front and center. I think that's where Gristle would like his family. Is this going to help me find my dad's brain? <laughs> okay, I don't want to think about that family anymore. Me either. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Roz. Ah, there's little panels on the back of these so that you can drift on over up to here. Fun! Every mind in the game, then? None here, two here, four here, uh, two here, four, one, 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 two here, two here, and two here. I've got every brain! Well, that's one of collectible that I have all of. Uh, I guess I also had all of the side cards as well, so that's two collectibles I've got all of. Uh, Oh no! In Bob's, I have figments and also one of the, one of the the the, the what do you call them, uh, the dogs with the memories in them, the vaults. Lily, can you change that projector screen again? Sure. It has buttons for scenery. Let's change the scenery. Okay. Show me a. Uh... What's this all about? I think I want to change. Whatever. Some... Mm, props. Can we alter the props? Yep. You want cacti, fish, maybe some trees? Also, yeah, it is very funny that, uh... Like, Nick is like, oh, well, I, I, I want to be in power again. I want everyone to love me. And it's like... Everyone loves Nick Johnsmith, the male guy. <laughs> everyone loves him. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> You kind of got that already. You just also want to be rich. Everyone already thinks you're the best, but it's like, no, no, no. I need my Fabergé eggs and caviar and my fancy throne to sit on. I need power, not male appreciation. I think what this needs is some... Why not? I want to change something. Bigger. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Roz. Okay, bye, see you later. I love you. Okay, bye. <gasps> ah, no, wait. I did, did a double jump last time, and that was fine. Yep. There we go. Oh, but the goat's in the way. Fuck. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, also, this is like a really interesting sort of revisit of uh, the stage play mechanics from that one bit in Psychonauts 1. This is fun. Anything over there? Nothing in particular, it looks like. All right, let's uh, get that goat the hell out of here. 
Lily, can you change that projector screen again? It has buttons for scene. Okay. Uh, can we all yeah. uh, get rid of the trees? Those trees. Are you sure this is doing something? And cacti. I think some cacti. Is this going to help me find my dad's brain? Oh, huh. That makes that jump a lot easier, doesn't it? I want to trigger. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Roz. Oh, huh. Yeah, that makes this jump a lot easier, doesn't it? Yep. Huh. Wow. Who the thunk? <laughs> Weird, huh? Hey. I know where I am. This is the Lady Lucktopus. The Maliks must have lived at the casino for a while. Suffering in exile. Ha! Oh my god, yeah, that explains it, doesn't it? Oh my god, yeah, that explains it, doesn't it? They used their obscene wealth to just live in a fucking casino for a while, didn't they? Oh. Lily! There's a room here just like the one we found on the mission to the casino. The delusionist was Crystal. Uh-huh. So that's why Nick had a Lucktopus key in his pocket. He was living there. Yeah. In exile. Ooh, that means he's the one who wrote the creepy note about me. He's here. Crystal. Really? Wait a second. Huh. I'm gonna for now and look for goodies. I'm gonna flush the toilet. It's still full of all these nasty hot dogs and stuff. God, he was still fucking filthy rich and living the high life. I'm gonna burn all your paintings, okay? I'm going to burn literally all of your paintings, okay? These are all just reproductions anyways. Picture of him in his fucking shorts on the bed. I don't know why I said bed like that. Yeah, this is like the epitome of male living spaces, isn't it? <laughs> How do you see me? Is it as a little peasant boy? Nope, little rich boy. Hmm. Hey! Why the long face? My father died today. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. He ruined my life. And if it weren't for him, I'd be the Tsar of Grulovia. <laughs> Believe it or not. Instead, I'm homeless. I don't know. This place looks pretty nice. Ha! Good one. Hey, kid. There's... something about you I like. Are you... By any chance of Grulovian blood? Half. Half blood will have to do. <laughs> Come, and let us toast to the fatherland. Hey, you want some caviar? Not really, that looks like dog shit. Depends. What exactly is caviar? It's just eggs. The most expensive eggs money can buy. Well, since you put it that way... You won't regret it. I mean, look at these eggs. I wouldn't feed that to my fucking cat. That looks bad. Maybe I'll have just one. <laughs> I don't think one is gonna do the trick. We'll see. They're made of gold. They're solid gold. The most expensive eggs money can buy. Oh no, if I had known it was going to take us somewhere else, I would have done uh, that bit in the back room. Oh, the music here, though. Still us in the mirror. Despite everything. God, the pictures here. Come 
Come on now. Long for the ride, bud. we go. Yeah, Hollis did give us the code name of Egg Beater, didn't she? That's a fun little callback, isn't it? Art style of the portraits at that scrolled past, uh, but I did see your message, gay Russian space cadet. Yeah, that's neat. sides are there? No, no, no. Okay. One, or two, there we go. Also, yeah, there was that one dish in Compton's mind, the Grilovian drowned egg. There sure is a lot about, like, eggs and drowning in this game, isn't there? Cool how it's all connected like that. Almost like they did it on purpose or something. I was really worried I was gonna miss that. Oh my god! Quick! Roll that over to the treasure room before anyone sees what you did! Oh my poor Theodore! Ha 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 ha! I wanna get off this egg. That's right, right through here. I suppose it's not the first time I can revisit this level again. Perfect! Now please leave before you break anything else. fun being at the end of this game and like looking back at all the little pieces that were put forth towards us and being like oh yeah this is stuff that i caught and, oh huh yeah i didn't i missed this entirely but that's cool in retrospect writing is cool writing is fun all right back in we go yeah i also was convinced that it was going to be auto for a good long while as well Turns out, it's not. Yeah, honestly, like, huge props to, uh, like, the entire Double Fine writing team. This is fucking killer work. I always have had a soft spot for Double Fine's games, but I've never played too, too many of them personally yet. I'll take this nugget. That's like hang on. Uh ninety six, that's like reverse nice. I'll take it. I'm desperate. <laughs> Yeah, you can spell nice backwards. It's okay. It's alive.
god, I still can't believe I fucking called my shot of... Oh, I, I wonder if Nick is gonna be the mole in the end. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for that. I didn't quite see this coming, but like, I don't know. I said it as a joke, and then as I thought about it more, I had a bit of a feeling of like, hmm... It sure is weird they have this very important, very named character that keeps coming up, even though he's like a throwaway nobody. Hmm. Suspicious, huh? It's a really good twist, because I saw, like, like, like a lot of people are like, oh, the best twist is like, well, you, you if you don't see it coming at all, that's the good stuff. And like, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I like a twist where it's like... There's enough pieces there for you to look into it and read into it and be like, hmm, yeah, some of this adds up into, like, a specific way, but something else about this just seems off or seems like it's missing, and I wonder why. Yep. <clears throat> and, like, there were a lot of other really good red herrings, like, uh, like Otto and Hollis and, like, for a bit, um, uh, I thought, like, the, the, the one intern that kept I fucking stalking us. Something. Might have been it. Oh yeah, you! <laughs> Easy to do something unexpected, but it's harder to lay the groundwork for something without totally giving it away. Yeah, exactly! And like... I, I, I figure like, if uh, like you set up your story in such a way where it's like... It's, it's written in a really compelling way where like all the pieces there for you to look at add up and piece together and be like, oh, huh, I guess that's leading to like this bit here. It's not because like, oh, well, well, that's because your writing is predictable and wrote and that means it's bad. It's like, no, it's because you're an effective writer that knows how to like lay the pieces out and then like fucking trust your audience to either be smart enough to pick up the pieces as we go or smart enough to realize that all the pieces were there when we get to that point. Like, you know? You're just good at foreshadowing things and respecting your fucking audience. <laughs> also, huh, yeah, that sure does put into a whole new light the bit of, uh, quote-unquote Zanato being like, Yeah, we gotta fix Fort Crawler. Uh, we gotta, we, we gotta fix some Immediately after, uh, Hollis just being like, you know, it's not our job to fix people. People aren't, like, broken things for us to hobble back together. Hmm. Like, for a while, I was thinking Truman, and then also the joke of, oh, but what if it's, uh, Nick? And it turns out, you, the missing piece was you, you, you gotta smush the two together a little. This is a leader. Ready to roll. Finally! Alright, let's go. Caviar rules. sense, I guess. Lily, I found Gristel's memory of stealing your father's brain. Does he show what he did with it? No, it's just a weird puppet show now. Hey, wait! 
I'm in this one. He found their organization ridiculously easy to manipulate. Some of their most trusted agents were mere children, easily controlled by Puppet Master Maddox. Super creepy. Ah. We've fallen for Trick of Nick. Uh oh. It's not safe at all. I mean, you know, I figured he was leading us along this whole time, given how he was pretending to be, uh, Zanato. Our little buddy out. Uh, hand. Shoot a bomb, shoot a bomb. Let's go, let's go. Throw me something good, throw me something good. I might as well just punch you out. Get you. I just come on and punch you out. This whole level has been an extended villain monologue, yeah. Also, man, this is a real bad time for frame drops. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, burn. Uh, time to stop you. You get away from me. My archetype. It will pay for hurting my boy. Okay. Uh, stop. I gotta be more careful with these guys, that's right. Almost. Where'd you go? There you go. Let's get some health back. And an egg. None of that. Come on. Time to stop you, summon our buddy. Thank you for the heal. Uh, let's get uh, time to stop right here. Uh, I stopped the wrong guy. Here we go. Alright. Levitation back. Hey. For justice. Not that little mallet. Bird round. Can't stop you. <laughs> oh, this is fun using all the different powers like this. I just want to find that cart and get back on the ride again. Yeah, it, it does seem to be like leading to the fact that uh, there were no like group of delusionists. It was just Nick. You know, given that he was, like, rich enough to be able to fund all these ridiculous things that they were doing. It does kind of seem like it was just Nick. 
Also, where's the... Okay, this is a solid wall. I thought maybe the, the record player was somewhere here to bust up. Right, yeah, there's like no evidence that there's like inherently other uh, delusionists. We just know some someone or something is trying to bring back uh, Molegula. Uh, Oh, hey, I know this guy. I've seen him before. We got a tag for you? I think I hear some emotional. I need this steamer trunk tag. This guy. Probably somewhere around here. Oh man, the like flipping around perspective is gonna be fun to like wrap my head around, isn't it? Wait so patiently for that to swing around. A little rain in a basket. Yeah, things do seem to be pointing to this like just being Nick acting on his own. Box of eggs. I know those guys. I know that one. That's employee of the year. Yep. Uh huh. It's like actually this. This must be the moment where Lobato stole Agent Zanato's brain. Creepy. So Crystal Malik was the one who hired you to swap his brain in for Truman's? I'll never tell. I'm literally watching you do it right now. Where did you put Truman's brain? I'll, I'll never tell. tell. Come on. I'll, I'll never tell. tell. I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool box you got here, huh? Cool box that's about the size of a brain you got here, huh? Egg, basket, old egg, box. Hmm. Really is such a shame, uh, that he's never gonna tell us. Also, I do like how in his, you know, in his, his propaganda mind, he's made his own brain bigger and Truman's brain is so much smaller. Hmm. Weird, that. Does he need a duffel bag tag? I mean, I don't know. We... We got one of those and it doesn't seem to be helping, so who knows what it's for? Who knows what it's for, really? Here's the steamer trunk tag. Okay, time we go back. Oh, right, this one. I forgot the second one. <laughs> What's that sound? Good night, little guy. Dude's like gotten this far, like getting people to do what he wants them to so that he can get Maligula back out. Yeah, I'd say he's uh definitely not stupid, just you know everything else about him. I found some weird stuff off the ride and 
were chasing Crystal Malik, remember? Not having fun in an amusement park. I know those two. <sighs> I'm headed back to the cart now. <sighs> I know that guy. Yeah, but you know, Dogen is in this game. <sighs> oh, right, that's where we just were. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's literally where we just came from, isn't it? The birds. Got him. Like, yeah, he's... He's, he's not a dumb man, he's just very much rich and uh, convinced that he's correct because of that. I wonder how to get that one. Probably some other way up there. Oh hey, it's Bobby Zilch! Oh, there's a of fire. Yeah, that'll do it, won't it? Yeah, that'll do it, huh? <laughs> hmm. I like these bits of scenery up there in the background like that. an achievement for that. Cute. That's a fun thing to have as an achievement. I saw that right away? Well, yeah, I went up to this wall to wall jump to it to get that figment, and then I saw there was a button prompt here. <laughs> it was right there. Figments-wise, aren't we? Grulovia, Grulovia. God damn it! I'm falling for their propaganda now. It's too catchy. I guess it's not really falling for it as much as it is just getting the song stuck in your head. It's not necessarily the same. Anything else up here? Just the way back up, I reckon. Stuck in your head for a week? Oh god, I'm fucked. I'm doomed. There's no, there's no helping me, is there? Figment? Huh. Anything else? Stand on hereabouts. Probably nothing else. Yes. But. But. Now let's go. <laughs> let's go. Get me out of this creepy place. Okay. It looks like you're catching up with Crystal. Keep a lookout for him. Oh boy, here we go. code name I made for you. Oh, I like it. Let's go mash crystal. Oh, she likes it. Thank you. 
They have a gift shop here? Oh, how fun! It's photos of our time here! Hmm. Weird. How nice! Man, they really pulled all the stops out for this ride, didn't they? Maybe it's awesome and good that he wants to be the king of all the universe, actually. I don't know how to let him. Gotcha! I'm gonna do that to the real you now. <laughs> I think I hear something. So, what did you think? I think you're a very confused person, and you don't know what you're messing with. I'm going to restore a whole country to greatness. A country that your heroes, the Psychonauts, tore apart. Your dad was a brutal dictator and a ruthless strongman. My father's only problem was that he wasn't strong enough. As Czar, I won't have that problem. Trust me. Uh-oh. The people hated the Maliks. If that were true, then why did they unanimously re-elect us every election? It... Is... I, I don't think it was an election. And if it was... Hmm... <laughs> I mean, that's... That's something you can pretty easily... Rig in a dictatorship. Hmm. Rolovia was never great. It was always a fair to middling country at best. Please. I was there. You weren't. It was amazing. I had a cotton candy maker in my bedroom. Bro, you can just buy one of those. You can just buy one of those. You're fucking loaded. Where's Truman's brain? Not my problem. Your father used Lucretia Mux to squash nonviolent protests. Maligula rained on a few parades, yes? But that's what cooled them down before they got too violent. Tsar mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Theodore made a monster. He pushed a vulnerable young woman to do such horrible things in the name of her country that she snapped. He broke her. He took a sad country girl and turned her into a mighty warrior. And I'm going to do it again. Maligula is my grandma! <laughs> oh boy, now who's confused? I've had enough of this. Yes, me too. Oh, come on, I was browsing this gift shop. I'm not a puppet. I'll break out of this in two minutes and then you'll be sorry. That's all the time I need to have Truman extricate Maligula from her captors back in the physical world. No, please don't! She's in a very fragile state right now. Any stress or memories could... Could awaken the Guardian of Grulovia and fulfill all of my hopes and dreams? You know about that you one. don't say. Please excuse me. I don't want to miss this. Hey, you jerk! I'm going to destroy your shot. Uh-oh. Not sure I should start a fire while I'm talking that. Maybe a gun? I'm gonna wreck this place! I'm ruining all your stuff! You'll never turn a profit on this merch! There we go. Made with real. Where? Oh. Is. Ouch! My. Hey! Father's. Ow! Brain! Please! It's a plush toy, little prince. <laughs> it's made with real metal in the briefcase. Good. Get knocked out. Come over here. Help. <laughs> I like that he let her go back 
for that? <laughs> what? No, not that one. This one. Oh? I guess we do really have to go back to get the goodies there then. Okay. Were you children just inside the mind of the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? No. Darling, we saw you come out. That's an incredible security violation. Listen, that's the mole! Kid, you're way behind. The mole is Nick from the mailroom. Sasha just figured it out. But I always had my suspicions. Ha! <laughs> Why, there he is, over there. Oh, no, 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 no. no. That's the Zazarovich of Krulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ah, uh, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. Did she just say... I think we should get out of here. Little Zazarvich. Have you come to pay for your father's sins? Yes, High Priestess. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Crystal Malek, son of Tsar Theodore, rightful ruler of Grulovia and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. For you are here too. This is awkward. Ah, there's too many people here. Too much baggage. Need to... Push it all away! Really, wait! I'm gonna need some help. Oh, I really hope this is going where I think it's going. I really hope this is going where I think it's going. Come on, come on, come on! Please, please, please be getting the interns and our family. Please, I'm begging you. Come on, please. Whoa, oh, okay. Platforming section. Is Maligula doing that? Of course she's doing that. Oh, beehive. Remember, stay away from the water. I missed. I still made it. But hey, that explains why all these little jumping bits are here in this forest now, doesn't it? Uh, end of the game platforming sequence. Our quality never will. No, no, that could have killed me. <laughs> Welcome to the automatic. Ah, one last place to go shopping if you need it. There's literally nothing I can buy right now. Ta ta. Ta ta. I hope my family is still at the camp. Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. Ah. I lost her, Rasputin.
You know what we have to do. Mio caro. No tears, my love. It's showtime. Fuck Time yeah. for the devil's fire hose. Quippy, on the bottom. Oh my god, we're finally gonna add a bit of psychic flair to it! Yeah! If it wasn't almost 11 at night, I'd be fucking howling right now. But what about all that water? The curse isn't real, Dad. It's just something Ford put in our minds to keep us safe. Sure about that? Of course he's not sure. But what choice does he have? You ready, Raz? No. So do it quick. <laughs> Here we go. Does it say? We're not in any of these. Here we are. Deluge of Grulovia. Save Lucretia. There must be a way to separate Lucretia from her inner darkness and defeat Maligula. more where that came from. <laughs> huh. You th hang on, ha you think you think Nick is the mole? Come on, couldn't be. Come on. No fucking way. Well, this is cheery. Ah, all the eggs being cracked. Graves. My grandparents were part of the protests in Grulovia after the war. It didn't end well. Here's a scene I was hoping not to see again. Ah, You're in the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. <laughs> Even in here, at like one of his scariest moments, he's still trying to do quips. Grandma Morona. My real Grandma Morona. And my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. God, that that does make me think. I saw a couple people mention similar things, but, uh... It does make me think about how the whole, uh... You know, the projection thing is like Raz summoning like a... Like a heroic, like, warrior archetype to help him out and like... 
in his brain, his idea of that is just some goofy guy, like, jumping around and doing jokes. That's... I don't know, something about that is really charming. <laughs> As is a good kid. later. Thought bubbles are all gone. <laughs> uh, Nona? Oh, uh, hi. I'm Raz. I'm your great nephew. <laughs> I mean, not that I think I'm great or anything. Just see, you're my grandma's sister, and I'm here to talk you out of being evil because, you know, you're still family and all. Family? All I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant. A uh, half Grulovian. It's not a bit of crap, and he divorced from the streets. <laughs> oh, snakes. Oh, boy. Be so happy. Ooh, that looked painful. It's okay. I have another one. <laughs> All right. Let's get our buddy out. And fire. Stun you. We'll get uh, grapple back out to jump to you. Nobody kills my archetype to get to me. Stun you. 
There we go. Back to your quilts, weakling. Oh. oh, hey, that little old lady's inside her. Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Wait, what does that even mean? It means run. part of the fight or flight complex, but you're supposed to be smaller and stay down in the primitive brain until needed. I am the deluge of Prolavia! Nobody wants you oh, up here. You. Stay inside until the fight's over. Where did the healing go? No, come back! No. They're fighting him! They are hurting my boy! <laughs> this one should probably pop a heal. There we go. There's no problem. Oh, right, dogs. from that water. Sorry, I thought you were the mole, Raz. Let me make it up to you. Oh, even Norm is trying. <laughs> Ooh, she looks steamed. Go! Nope, oh, that's a bad idea. Hang on. Get you out of here. Uh, hands. Thank God for the dream fluffs. I dare you kill my archetype. Please. Uh, now let's have a good idea. Uh, maybe this. And then. There we go. <laughs> yeah. There's something I have to tell you. I killed my friend. Enough. Gisu, Norma, are you? Nona, if you can hear me. This thing is not your fault. Ford's experiments opened the door and let it out of the lower brain. The sar and his war made it grow. This is going on long Oh yeah, clairvoyance, that is a good idea, actually. Never underestimate the power of Pirate Next phase. Radio! Roma came to me, upset about some terrible mistake she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? People were listening! At least one of them, and they told the others. Thanks, Morris. Owe me an exclusive on-air interview for this, okay? <laughs> you got it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Marona. Wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. 
He killed my sister. No, that's not quite right. Oh, no, no. no, that's not quite right. Oh dear, listen. I... I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family! <laughs> but so what? Eh? <laughs> I kill lots of people! The only thing I can offer now is everything I've got. But there's always room for one more! Oh, I wish I had made you bigger. <laughs> it's okay, Nona. Look behind her. Dug his little hole after all. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna fill it. Oh, I can't use the. I can't use uh, the... the the vision power here. Oh, I should have begun for the smacks here. Okay, that doesn't seem to work there when she's doing that. It's a really good callback to the second Alts one final boss, but like more interesting. Something like you. We just know how to keep it where it belongs. Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad she got to be the one to do that. Do you have a funnel? 
So that's it? Maligula gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people? I mean, we did the same for you, eh, bud? Hey, it was different when I did it. <laughs> I was a monster. And, and then, uh, and now, uh, I think she deserves a second chance. <laughs> And I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh, no you don't. I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Fuck yeah, good for you, Hollis. Right after we take care of some important Psychonauts business. Well, are you coming or not? Now that's leadership. Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate the things. Song. But I think you've also learned a truth that every psychonaut should know. That there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes, and we all need help sometimes. But we all deserve a second chance. <laughs> you've seen us at our worst. And we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm talking about! Oh, good oh, okay. all now officially junior agents of the Psychonauts. Junior? I'll take it. <laughs> Psychonauts too. Hell yeah. Oh my god, they're playing this song. What a game. What a game. Welcome to my mind. Kind of bobbing along to the music right now. <laughs> oh my god, that thing said sensorium and I misread it as penisorium. What's wrong with me? Everyone's making penisorium jokes. Awesome. What have I done? If they 
do make a Psychonauts 3. I sure hope uh, part of it is about Raz getting a fucking therapist. After, like, the shit this kid's been through over the past week. My god. My god. on this game, huh? A lot of people. Sometimes I forget that, like, uh, uh you know, this, this $80 video game, uh, was like a full-budget AAA video game made by, like, a massively funded team, uh, that had, like, a lot of money and time to work on something like this. They've come a long way, haven't they? And like, it still feels very, very much like a... Like something that a uh, Double Fine would make rather than just being like, you know, uh... Like, oh, well, we were a big-name studio, so we just had like a ton of money and... Uh, we just shoveled out whatever because it, it would sell. Like, no. Like, this is a game that had a ton of care and love put into it. When my friends pulled me back up, I started. No Crunch does wonders for quality? Uh-huh! Turns out! It turns out when your, like, game project has, uh... A lot of money and a lot of time and doesn't force, like, your workers to work on reasonable hours that, like, makes them stick a foot in the grave, uh... You end up with something pretty good! You end up with something pretty good! Also, yeah, they've had, like, years sitting on these ideas, uh, since Psychonauts the first one, so I'm just like... I don't know, I'm really, really glad, uh they were given the chance to finally do this game they wanted to make for, like, years and years and, like, were able to make it, like, such a big spectacle as it was. They fill the holes I've had. Game is good. Game is good. Unlocking all my memories oh, Which I never I'm gonna be doing some post-game stuff tonight, yeah. This is probably going to be my final stream of this game. Thanks, Elijah Wood. Thank you, Aaron Yvette, for voicing... Egg. Egg. What other games have good eggs in them? Awakening has a pretty good egg in it. Yoshi's Island is a pretty good egg in it. Bug Snacks technically has a good egg in it, but not the type of egg I'm thinking of. She is a good egg, though. <laughs> Are they gonna put, uh, Helmut's brain back in his body? I mean, now that they know where his body is, they can probably try and get it out. Or maybe they're just gonna let him pilot Nick around forever, who knows? These questions will be answered in Psychonauts 4. Please look forward to it. Unlocking all my memories which are never Never God, I love this song. Bad. Getting Jack Black to play a huge boisterous dude who gets musical numbers was a really fucking good pull. Man. Man. 
not to like gush too much, but like the voice work and direction in this game was fucking phenomenal and like I hope I get to do something like that someday, you know? Very, very much an inspiration. Like with basically every fucking role in this. <laughs> play Brutal Legend. No, I want to. Uh, the game is virtually unstreamable because of all the copyrighted music, but I have been wanting to play the game. So. Holly for Psychonauts 3 unironically? I mean, Double Fine was here in one of my streams once. If, if they want me, they got my number. Technically. <laughs> Maybe someday. That would be a dream. Uh... I think, like, dream, uh, voice work projects to be in, uh, would be... I mean, I guess HLVR was kind of a dream in a way, and, uh... Real-time fan dub was a dream that I had when I was younger. Uh, that's also come true. Uh, so I guess that's two off the bucket list. <laughs> uh, but... You know, other things that come to mind are, like, um... Some kind of Double Fine game. Uh, something in Warframe. Stuff like that would be neat. You know, uh, pipe dream and all, but... Could be cool. I'm hoping once I, like, move out, um... I would be able to, uh... Like, get more of a proper recording setup done for, like, voice stuff. so I can like, maybe try and do more uh, related to uh, recording stuff. Holly to be an evil old person in their game? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Smile. I've had a couple people uh, reach out the prospect of, like, uh, theoretical possible future, uh, like, collaboration in terms of, like, doing voice work for a thing, uh, and so, like, there's nothing on the table for any of that, and I'm not gonna, like, talk about the specifics of it, because, like, that would be shitty of me, it's not mine to say, but, like, uh, you know, there's... Some stuff that might happen someday that, uh, makes me, uh, very, very excited, to put it lightly. Uh, but even if it doesn't end up shaking out, you know, the fact that, like, uh, some folks what do games, uh, folks that have, like, done cool things that I enjoyed and that, like, that I look up to would even consider me, uh, even if things don't shake out, I reckon that's, that's enough, you know? Trust me, you will you will all know more when and if I have more to share, because uh if it ever fucking happens, I will literally never be able to shut up about it. <laughs> so Please look forward to me as the voice of uh Little Fucking Rock. Funny little fucking rock, uh in Um Undertale 4. You have to you have to look forward to it. Please look forward to me in I Am Mean 2. I will be playing I Am Mean 2, and I will talk about the fucking bookworm. 
fucking bookworm. And hey, here's all the people that back to the game, right? A whole lot of people uh, helped make this game possible. Both in terms of, you know, the, the dev team. And all the people who, you know, backed the project and supported it. Maybe you'll see your name in there. Uh, you won't see my name in here because I didn't back it. Because I didn't uh, have the money at the time, really. <laughs> But I'm glad I got to experience it all the same. I got some friends that backed it. Hell, again, the whole reason why I was able to play this, um, as, like, soon as I did after the first one is because uh, a friend of mine backed it and was generous enough to uh, send me their extra key that they got for the game. Uh, so again, shouts out uh, to my friend Bugs, Faithful of Bugs, uh, for, you know, giving me the chance to stream this game as soon as I did. Really appreciate that. Very kind of them. But I'll be honest, uh, as, like, the further and further I got into Psychonauts the first one, I was just thinking, like, oh man, oh god, I'm gonna have to buy two. I'm gonna have to buy two right away and play it right away, aren't I? <laughs> Saved me a couple of days, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Man, uh, I think in like every single like way, uh, like every single thing I liked about Psychonauts One, uh, this game kind of took that. Uh, encapsulated it, kind of, like, dusted away some of the stuff that wasn't so hot about it, and then just, like, made it a lot better and more interesting and engaging, which is wild, because, like, Psychonauts 1 was really fucking good, and I'm saying that as someone that had no nostalgia for it. I never played it uh, when it was a new game. I literally played it for my first time this year, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I had a blast with it. And I was like, wow, this game from, like, the early to mid-2000s holds up really well. Uh, and now they've got the sequel that they've been putting a ton of time into and that they've been wanting to make for years. Uh, you played it when you were 12? My god, time sure flies, doesn't it? And so I was like, you know, I don't normally do this for games. Like, I try to keep my expectations low on purpose. Uh, so that, um, I'm never disappointed. Uh, but I had high hopes for this one. And, uh, it kind of blew every expectation I had, like, clean out of the water. If you'll forgive the, the water jokes. <laughs> I've seen a couple folks saying they're sad, you know, that the game's over. That there's not, like, more, uh, to chew into, uh... And I, I kind of get that, because, you know, when, when there's something you really like, it's, it's, there's always that sort of desire for, like, oh, man, I wish this went on even longer, I wish there was even more to experience here, but, like, uh, one, I feel like, uh, I wish there was more is a much better problem to have than I wish there was less of this. <laughs> and two, um, you know. There's always going to be other stories. There's always going to be other sunrises. We got plenty to look forward to. And hey, maybe there'll be more Psychonaut Sunday. But until then, you know, we've got other things we can play and read and write and make. Also, I did, I did see, like, someone's name on this list was, like, 
the sentient NPC or the self-aware NPC, and it just had me go like, Oh god, no, this game was backed way before HLVR. It's not a reference, it's not a reference, it's not a reference. Come on, Holly. <laughs> Amazing, we've had two long-awaited sequels to cult classics come out this year and both were good. I, I've not heard anyone talk about- I, that's not true, I've heard a couple folks talk about, uh, Neo, The World Ends With You, uh... Did people like that? I hope that was a thing people enjoyed, I hope that, like, was worth the wait for people. I've, I've not looked into it very much, uh, other than thinking, I really liked World Ends With You, the first one. I should still probably play it myself before I even think about doing the sequel. Oh yeah, sick! Neo has been out for, like, a while. Like, I want to say, like, a month or a couple of months or something. Something like that. People are saying they like it, so that's good. I'm happy for them. New Pokémon Snap also sounds like it was good, but again, expensive game. Very expensive game. So I kind of put it aside on the... Sort of, eh, maybe some other time. I guess this is kind of just a QA, and a uh, or just like a, a chat while we listen to the music and wait for the credits to go. I'd feel bad skipping it. Uh, I saw someone mention, oh, come on, reconnect. Uh, the video game To the Moon, I've heard of it. Uh, might play it someday. Seems like it might be up my alley. Uh, Night in the Woods is one that I'd, is on my list of things to play, for sure. Not played that. Heard a lot of people whose opinions I really value say that they fucking adored that game, so... Uh, hey, thanks for hanging out, Mist. You have a wonderful rest of your night. Have I played a short hike? Not only have I played a short hike, I streamed it a while ago. You can go watch the VOD for that. I, like, 100% at that game. I don't remember if I did that on stream or if I 100%ed it off stream, but I did I did play uh, a short hike and I adored it. Oh man, Disco Elysium, that's another game I really need to play. That's another game I really need to play. Time for Ram It Down! Oxenfree, Oxenfree. That name rings a bell, uh, but I don't remember what kind of game that is, so I have no idea if I would be interested in it. <laughs> Join you in Disco Hell? Oh, gladly, gladly. I, I, I'm, I'm a little conflicted on Disco Elysium, which is... I guess this is kind of a good problem to have when you part of your career involves experiencing video games in front of an audience, but, like, I'm never... I can't decide if that's the kind of game where, like, I want to stream my first playthrough of it. Or if I want to, like, play it on my own time, and then once that's done, stream, like, a Twitch integration playthrough of it. I got- I got- it's- I still gotta think about it. I'll stream, like, so, in some capacity someday, but, like, I have to decide how to do it, you know? It's like- it's the kind of game where it's like, I want to really afford it the, the sort of, like, space and gravitas it deserves. And I don't know if, like, I would be able to best do that by, like, streaming it blind my first go-through. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But, like, it's definitely, like, an eventually thing. It's definitely an eventually thing. Uh, I'm probably just gonna end up playing it on my own, but then the problem is, like, I gotta find time to do that, you know? I've heard a couple people talk about No Straight Roads. Uh, I like the, like, art uh, and style of No Straight Roads. Uh, the gameplay doesn't look like it interests me very much, unfortunately. So, probably not. Everyone is saying meat. Uh, I will do a meat stream. I think I could have worded that significantly better. <laughs> oh, can we rewind a bit? Can we get rid of that? Cut the feed. <laughs> uh, 
Right, yeah, I saw someone mention it. I'm very, very rapidly trying to pivot away from... <laughs> from me. <laughs> um, I saw someone mention, you know, the fact that Disco Elysium being the kind of game that it is, um, it's very, very easy to, like, play it a different way and see completely different things. So, like, yeah, that's... That's definitely part of why, like, playing it on my own first and then streaming it interests me, because, like, I could see completely different things than what I did my first go-through. Um, I saw someone mention, um, when, when's the MDCT and Holly collab with the mo most meat-infused cooking? <laughs> uh, Doc's great. Uh, if y'all aren't checking out, uh, Doc on Twitch, M underscore D underscore C underscore T, uh, Great dude, does great streams. Uh, give him a look. Uh, the idea of doing a scrum with him scares me deeply. <laughs> you know, never say never, but uh, also that makes me want to cry. <laughs> uh, I saw some other people mention uh, some like other like old adventure like LucasArts games. Uh, Rim Fandango is one I've never played myself, so I want to. Uh, the Monkey Island games I've not played in fucking years, and that might be fun. Um, you know what LucasArts game I want to stream? Fucking Sam and Max. Uh, which, whichever the name is for the, 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 the LucasArts one, I want to play that one and stream that. Uh, I, I, like, experienced a chunk of that years ago, but never actually got to play through it myself. Hit the road, that's it. Sam and Max is good. Um, I was talking with um, a friend uh, who I won't name just because, you know, it's it's not really my information to give, but they, they brought up the idea of, like, doing a, a playthrough together at some point with uh, the Sam and Max games. So, uh, you know, that might happen eventually. Uh, I could say this much. If it does happen, it won't be streamed on my channel. But, uh, you know, something to look forward to. Sam and Max is good. Sam and Max is peak old evil gay people? Yeah. <laughs> it kinda is, isn't it? <laughs> Damn, did the Wizard of Video Games back this? Cool Hand Luke back this. Someone just named Parliament back this. Great. Play Donkey Kong 64? Listen, don't... Don't tempt me. You know how I am about, um... About getting really bad ideas and then streaming them, like playing through the entirety of Claymates. You, you know how I am. Don't... Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a bad time because good time question <laughs> mark If I do DK64 I'm going to want to do it on like original hardware and that's not uh going to happen anytime soon so maybe maybe I find it funny when people say a cab applies to Sam and Max because they're not real cops. Uh, they're real bastards, though. Absolute fucking guys. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it technically does apply to them <laughs> in its own way. Just, you know, for, the, for different reasons than it normally does. <laughs> It's, looks like. To be 
fair, that's all adventure game protagonists. I mean... I'm trying to think of a counter-argument, but literally nothing is coming to mind. <laughs> so I think maybe you're just right. <laughs> Guybrush is a little bit of a tool. Guybrush Threepwood is a little bit of a tool. Not like massive, but you know, a, a little bit. A little bit. He's 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 like a stylish and mostly well-meaning scoundrel, but like, you know, a little bit. He 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 has enough. He has enough of like uh. Ponzi dipshit sprinkled onto him for uh, for seasoning. No idea who Guybrush is. Guybrush Threepwood, uh, the protagonist of the Monkey Island series. He wants to be a pirate so bad. He wants to be a pirate so bad. It's not even funny. Except it is funny because Monkey Island is like a comedy adventure game. <laughs> It'd be fun to uh, stream the Monkey Island games. I remember I was reading up uh, on some like fan stuff that people did for the 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 like HD version they made a while ago, where it's like you can play uh, the original like graphics and music, but you can also add the like new um, like the new voice lines uh, into it somehow. And I want to look into that more because that sounds like a fun way to do it. Day of the Tentacle Stream? Maybe. I've never played that one either. The Mist games I've heard good things about. Uh, I've been trying to think of something that might scratch the, the sort of Outer Wilds itch. Um, oh, speaking of which, uh, I did. I made the executive decision. Um, I'm not going to be streaming the Outer Wilds DLC because I want to just, like... I want to experience that. Like I want to, like, lock myself in a fucking cave uh, <laughs> and go hog wild on that. <laughs> Hopefully, have like a great fucking time with it. But also, just like, uh, partly because, like, A, uh, I would want to, like, redo it with Mike if I was streaming it, and, like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, Mike, by the way, for your first time playing through this game, you're gonna do it as my co pilot instead. Because that'd be shitty. Uh, and two, I don't wanna make myself wait if I'm gonna be doing that then. I would wanna just do it right away. <laughs> and three, like, I, I don't want to have to deal with people coming into the chat and, like, being, like, nasty guys, just being like, Oh yeah, by the way, here's, like, all the big reveals about all these puzzles that yet no one else has had the chance to do yet. Because it's like, come on, you know? So I'm just gonna do it myself. And I'm gonna have a good time with it, unless I don't enjoy it, then I'm gonna have a bad time with it, I guess. But I can't imagine I wouldn't like it, you know? Yeah, a lot of people back to this game. We did it. We reached the end. Thank you for playing. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. I know I graduated the intern program and all, but I'll bet if I snuck in a little extra credit work, that would really irritate Norma. Have I ever played The Longest Journey or its Dreamfall sequels? No, that name rings no, no bells to me. Continue exploring mental and physical worlds. I'm an official Psychonaut. Well, junior Psychonaut. Take that, mailroom. Time to make my own adventure. Here we are. The great outdoors, the grand outside. What wonders await us? 
Back inside. Back inside. Back inside right now. Right fucking now. Back inside right now. Raz, you go back inside right now. Scanning access granted. We have important business to wrap up. We have something really fucking important to do right now. Right fucking now. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, it's close. Oh, come on now. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, that sweet collectible. It's enough to make a psycho not sick. Okay, does PH go before G because it sounds like F? Wait, it's not in this room. Yes, it is. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. And the stars were right. And this is to be my final overworld collectible. Gods give me strength. <laughs> I have collected every single collectible. Not counting the scavenger hunt. Every single collectible. In the overworld. All of them. Every last one. Now there's a smart looking kid. So are you the head mail clerk now? Oh, is that what you heard? Is there talk? Imagine me. Replacing not just Ford Cruller, but also filling the shoes of Nick John Smith. This is the woman that was getting her hair cut at the at Cruller's, right? Come on, you can do Th this. That's why her hair's like this, right? <laughs> you know there wasn't really any Nick John Smith, right? She does have male the hair. Truth was that the mail runs on trust. The truth is that the mail system shouldn't really work at all. So don't you bring any of that to my house, okay? Okay, ma'am. You know there was a truth. Shh, the the truth. Truth. So don't you bring any of that to my house, okay? Okay. I can respect it. Anyone else down here? No. Okay. I, yeah, I, I, I have really enjoyed that, like, there were so many just, like, minor characters that only exist as like background I mean, set dressing most of but like just junk mail they've had their own like arcs throughout this entire game and like little bits of development and it's really cool like i can't wait to hear from the two that have been like gossiping about um like me being the mole this whole time and i can't wait to talk to the guys where i think i only saw them when i was playing on my own time but they were like oh like there it was like a man and a woman talking like oh your your husband can't know. Oh, we can't tell him at all. Yeah, we have to keep this a secret from him. This the f and there's like a big long pause, and they're like, the fact that we're making him a surprise party. Yahoo! And then another long pause, and then you know he was really understanding, especially after that affair we had, <laughs> or something like that. It was really good. I don't remember any of the names of specific NPCs. Because Maybe I'm bad at remembering names, uh, including real people, so... What you doing, Adam? Just adding one more frame to the history of the Psychonauts. Hell yeah. Hey! That's me! Could I? You really know your incredibly recent history. Ha! Cute. Wow. I really am part of the story. Oh. I don't. I did beat the game. It's all done now. Hey, Adam. How's it going, fam? Anyone giving you trouble? Nah. Okay, okay, tough guy. Cute. Good to know. Thank you, Gregzilla, for the three-month reset. And I, I thank you, Dreadnight TV, for that raid. I know. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better. Now it says the Psychic 7. Oh. Well, the Green Needle Gulch isn't hidden anymore. Nope. 
Words getting out about their fine artisanal honey. Oh, yumma yumma. Ah, it's been updated to include Lucretia. History isn't written in stone, young man. Ain't that the truth? I've seen this battle from so many sides now. None of them good. Here they are, digging out the quarry and building the mother load. Coincidentally, the very building that we're in right now. <laughs> I know, Adam. The student has become the master. My work here is done. It's a cute bit of dialogue. Now I know why everyone's so subdued here. At least they're feeling better now. Heroes of the intern program. Hey, <coughs> that's me. Could I? You really know your incredibly recent history. Wow. I really am part of the story. Oh, cute. Oh, now that I'm here. Uh, pins, 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 pins. Uh, I want more titanium. And I want magnet. There we go. Now I can get even more money. Because I eventually have to grind out the achievement for filling out your wallet completely. And I'm like, what? Almost halfway there? <laughs> we'll get there in no time. I'm, I'm not going to stream myself doing that. That'd be torture. I'll just do that on my own time. But I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna pick up my scene. You, you having fun there, Oleander? Hey, Coach. Really getting some use out of that swimming tail. Just doing some research for the amphibious assault capabilities of my death bot. I didn't know your robot had amphibious assault capabilities. Neither did I, till I took a spin in this, baby. Does that tail make swimming easier? Wanna try it? I better not. I'm still learning how to swim. Yeah, you're right. And I don't want you stretching it out. <laughs> you're five hours late? Hi! Uh, we beat the game. We, like, did the credits and everything. This is, like, the end of the game. This is all post-game stuff. If, if you've not, like, beaten the game yourself, this is extremely spoilers. <laughs> our friends over here. I know about the water stuff. I'll do it eventually. Don't you worry. Ah. I know I shouldn't be up here, but wow, it feels very intense. Hmm. Oh, cute. I like the skybox they've used. It's charming. Hmm. Me, it could be. Oh, let's go see Sasha. Dr. Lobato, where do you think you're going? The green man told me to wait in the brain bumbler. That's not the brain tumbler. Oh, I guess I'm escaping then. Bye! Please don't tell. You know I'm a reformed man. You were there. You saw me. Hmm. Plus, I need to get back to camp. I left my kid there. Wait, what? Who? Also be talking about Linda, yeah. 
Hey, it's Bob over there. Oh, and Helmet's brain. Oh my god, they got Helmet in a ball. Cute. What are you two up to? We're planning our mission to rescue Helmet's body in Grulovia. And after that, we're going to buy a treadmill and rescue Bobby's body. <laughs> How are you going to find Helmet's body? Ford and Otto tried for so long. They didn't have Helmet to help. Yeah, and I should be able to sense my body's location better than they could. <laughs> and we won't give up until we find it. going to be like a second hunting one. Good luck on your mission, guys. I just get sad thinking of that poor body out in the cold. I've had some opening nights that prepared me for much colder. <laughs> Good luck on your mission. I just get... I've had some opening nights that prepared me for much colder. He's taking this remarkably well and in stride, but I guess that makes sense considering how he was just, like, a brain in a jar for so many fucking years. Scanning access granted. <laughs> Do not put Helmet Full Bear in the Death Robot. Do not put Helmet Full Bear uh, in Coach Morso Oleander's Death Robot. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Under no circumstances should you do that. Do not do that. You. Duel of the Fates. Duel of the Fates. Hey, what are you in the sandwich talking about? How do I look to a sandwich? I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? You two miss the rhombus? So, what a ride, eh, Harold? Think you'll settle down here, Harold? You can't go back to the rhombus, you know. We blew it up. <laughs> Don't get attached to that sandwich, Harold. Sooner or later, he's going to get eaten. Catch you later, Harold. I gotta go work on my personal stats. 102? Wow, really? <laughs> That's cute. That's, I guess, how you learn in the video game, aside from, uh, you know, this, this, this pin here that, it, that, hey, 102 levels. That's a cute little nod to that. That picture took like a minute later than I pressed the button. Scanning access granted. We're still allowed in here. Oh. Which is maybe a bit of a security concern, but hey. That's okay. Probably. Harold is our strongest agent, we're also proud of him. No one has confiscated this very young child's all access pass through the facility, that's true. Wait, hang on, was Harold just. Scanning access. Do I have granted. a permanent psychic link to Harold now? Is is that what's happening? Did you hear what happened to Agent 33? <gasps> no, what happened? She went on vacation, but forgot to set her aura to out of office. Oh, <laughs> classic 33. Yeah, apparently they went on a whole mission because of it. Good. It's nice and quiet here when the big waves bug out. Huh. Why does 33 sound familiar? Was that a thing that came up? If you need a big win, come down and get a performance enhancing pin. No, I'm good. She's the one who never reported back from the casino. Ah. I see. So, literally, that's the entire reason why the events of the game happened, is because she... She forgot to set her status on psychic Skype to away. <laughs> Great. That's cute. Hi, Lizzie. Norma. Look. Norma. Call me a snitch. 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 But, after all was said and done... It ended up helping, didn't it? No. It interrupted my work with Ford, provoked Maligula, 
and almost drowned everybody. You should feel lucky, Raz. She's been helping me my whole life. Ha! <laughs> By the way, Lizzie, it turns out the Green Needle Witch is pretty nice. Really? Yeah. She told me that if I ever have any more trouble with being hazed, I should just call her, and she'd come give everybody a big hug. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, now she sees us as a little agent. Cool dude. Anyone in here? Anyone in here? comes to mind as far as like I guess sort of uh, complaints or disappointments about this game as it were I'm kind of sad that there's no equivalent to uh, to like having four pop out of your head and tell you all about what's going on that's like the one thing that I really miss from uh, take care of you when you don't have the mental energy to do it yourself from one having grandpa on speed dial that's like the one sort of complaint I can think of. Watch out, intern. Hello. Not now, kid. Busy. I'm not an intern anymore. Hello. Not now, kid. Busy. Honestly, I'm perfectly fine with there not being like item show and tell you have to do to every NPC in the game. That <laughs> I wasn't super keen on that specifically. <laughs> I'm okay with them streamlining Where that. Did I put that it was a disaster, I'm telling you. Complete disaster. Well, you must not have folded in the eggs. I did. Wait. What's folding in mean again? It's a flipping motion with your wrist that creates a multi-layered structure in the egg, like the layers of steel in a samurai sword. Oh my god, he's one of those guys. Yeah. Samurai sword. Yeah, I did that. Okay, yeah, the feather would have been good though. You guys talking about cooking? I have been doing some high-stakes cooking lately. Sorry, kid. This is a secret code. We are talking about a mission. Actually, I thought we were talking about cooking. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> agent? Intern. Fellow agent? Hey, Mole! What? Ma'am! We, we, we literally solved the... <laughs> I thought you said Hollis was the problem. No way! She was the only one keeping this place together. I think she's secretly been running this place for years. Ever wonder if you guys could make layoffs happen by thinking about it too much? Oh my god. No way. If that were possible, then I'd be married to Lori by now. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Hey, Sonny. Greetings, Agent. Future Agent? Hey. Uh-huh. Muddy boy. Hey, don't worry. I found intern orientation eventually. Oh, right. How'd that work out for you? Well, I mean, didn't you hear about all the, you know, with the water and, and the fighting? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we don't follow intern activities. <laughs> but it sounds rough. Oh my god, they don't even know. These sons of bitches don't even know. Hey, are you sure you're old enough to be an intern? I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> no one's here to get a haircut. Hair is over now. Are you not a bacon guy anymore? You're not a bacon guy anymore. I'm glad they're finally letting the full story of the Psychic Seven be told. That reminds me. 
I gotta go change all those other plaques to say Psychic 7 instead of 6. Not to worry. I have a graffiti pen. So you're the one writing Colin Loves Kim everywhere. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Lawbreaker. <laughs> oh. Otto Mentalis. Only one of the Psychic Seven whose mind I didn't get to visit. Maybe someday. Looking at the camera, please, 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 please. What's the next project? We gotta finish up here so we can go on our honeymoon. Oh, wow. Congratulations. What can I say? There's something about this little lady I can't resist. I think it's my bacon perfume. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's literally the only reason why. What's the next project? We gotta finish up here. Oh, wow. What can I say? I think it's my bacon perfume. Did Is you that just for my workers' comp claim? All seven of them are here now. Cute. I like that a lot. I was partly convinced that Otto was gonna end up being the mole just because, like, well, out of all these other guys, he's the one whose brain we haven't been to and the only one without, like, a clean lead up into going to his brain. So, of course, he would be the mole because we wouldn't be able to revisit him because he's the villain and he's going to die. Which, you know, ended up not being true, but... I had a feeling. He, he, he's just like that, it turns out. Oh, you're doing great tonight! How's that elbow? Great? That old guy who was working here said my ball was too heavy, so I swapped it out, and it's like I got a new elbow! Whatever happened to that guy? I guess we'll never know. Oh, he's he's down in the green zone. Hey, shouldn't you be wearing bowling shoes? Oh, please. Have you seen what's inside those things? Yes. Would you wear them? Fair point. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chief? Hello. Ah. <laughs> what kind of label makers are we talking about? Come back when you're older, kid. Yeah, when you know more about how adults organize things. Hey, kid. Hi. Hey, little agent. Here's to you, Agent Nine. And to you, Agent Bordello. Ready to head back to camp? Very much. But all your best equipment is here. Yes, but also so many more eyes on my experiments. So much red tape. It won't be the same without the so children. It turns out Sherry had my label maker the whole time. Really? Your own wife? Huh? Yeah, well, actually, I only bought that thing to add a little spice back into our marriage. A label maker can do that? If you know how to use it, it can. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't want to listen to these two ever again. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I guess Sasha and Mia are, like, going back to, uh... Going back to the camp, aren't they? Agent 9. Modelo. Oh, hello, fellow Psychonaut. Yes, that's right, Agent Aquato. I like the sound of that. Agent Aquato. This is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> Are you both hanging around here or going back to camp? Well, I did leave my car there. And there's a new batch of children coming in a week. There's more kids coming to Whispering Rock this summer? Of course. Whispering Rock is one of the main revenue makers for the Psychonauts these days. What's going to happen to Crystal Malik? I need to run some experiments on him. You mean tests, Sasha? Oh, yes. Therapeutic tests. Mostly harmless. M mostly. Remember the time we fought off those brain tanks? That was cool. Oh, that feels like 20 years ago. That reminds me. I need to get back to my lab. Lobato should be waking up any moment. You left Dr. Lobato tied up in your lab? Not no. Not tied up. I just used the brain tumbler to sedate him. Wow. That thing can do anything. See you next mission. Get some rest, young man. And thank you for all your help, darling. That's that's true. Like it's 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 not been very long since yep. like we were last at the camp and all, so they're just going back to like business as usual, all of them going back and Coach's car is still rigged to blow up, isn't it? The coach's car is still rigged to blow up, isn't it? Uh oh. Hey, has anyone seen Sherry? 
Hey, can I get a drink? What? Are you kidding? The coach's car is 100% a bomb, just waiting to go off. <gasps> so that's all the people in here, it looks like. Scanning access granted. Oh my god, Coach Oleander, a bomb! A bomb! I can't do a J.C. Denton voice. <laughs> I do not know how to do a J.C. Denton voice. I guess it's actually, I guess it's kind of like this. I like to make a silent takedown. Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb. What a shame. <gasps> you Natko sent me. I'm here to blow up some guy's car. <laughs> I hope my family didn't cause too much trouble. You're lucky my family never comes to visit me. Ever. Okay, nothing new from you then. Bye! You... You Natko? No, Savage. Quit screwing around. <laughs> Old men. Warning. 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 Oh, no, I, I talked to, uh... The, the... 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 Receptionist lady, like... Off camera, like off stream, I got a bunch of dialogue from her. Oh. That bit that she just said there isn't new to me. I've heard that. Yep. Old men are the future. I have no idea if that video still holds it up at all, but man, I think about some of those lines sometimes. Oh my god, I think I think Lily and her dad are both here. I think I saw him. Oh How do you see me now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh that's good. Oh that's good. Now that you're not like being brain jacked by someone else, you're not seeing me as like a little peasant boy. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It wasn't you. You were locked up in a brain case far away. Oh, if only every brainless father had a daughter like you to save him. Oh, hi guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Young man, I still haven't thanked you for saving me from the rhombus of ruin. Lily told me all about it. Oh. I merely did what any psychonaut would do. Please don't hold against me what that twisted little man said with my tongue. Oh, he wasn't that bad. <laughs> Except when and you- And please don't tell me about it either. <laughs> my daughter has already told me far too much. Forget about it, Pops. It was a phase. All dads go through it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actual Truman kind of rules. I like the relationship he's got going on with his daughter. That's cute. How's the brain reintegration going? Perfect. No side effects at all. Porpoise Sally and eight ball? Oh? You little trickster. Trying to make me think I have brain damage. <laughs> you got me. That's only going to be funny for a few more years. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I might have broken into your presidential locker on the jet. As long as you didn't break the music box that was inside. It was my mother's. Well, we did. But then Raz went inside of it using clairvoyance on a flea and fixed it. What an enterprising young man. Did you tell your dad about what happened at camp? Raz! No! Oh, well, now you have to tell me. Oh, no. It was no big deal. Oleander was stealing children's brains and using them as weapons in armored death tanks. Oh, <gasps> is that all? Good. I thought it was something more worrying, like kissing. I've heard that happens a lot at summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you two get back to talking about me. Bye, 
Raz. <laughs> oh, that's really fun. Skull! Looks like this is where Lily comes to work out some of her darker thoughts. Hell yeah, girl, you show him. This is really good, like topiary Looks too. Looks like this is where Lily comes to work out some of her darker thoughts. Listen, if I could have a skull bush, I would. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, let's go say hi to Hollis. I did see her there, and then I ignored her like three or four separate times. <laughs> She's getting ready to go on her vacay. Good for her. Anyone else here? Excuse me, Agent Forsythe? Yes, Rasputin? I just wanted to apologize. No, no, no. I thought we agreed not to talk about that again. We did? Listen, in the end, I was the adult in the room. You were the child. I take full responsibility. And the whole thing is just so embarrassing, so let's just move the mission log to the classified file, okay? Sassy! What are you doing out here? Well, just relaxing, waiting for my flight to the tropics. I'm off the clock, but I'm happy to answer any non-work-related questions. Hollis rules. She, like, is one of my favorite characters in this whole game. Especially out of the new characters. God, she's really good. Where will you go on your vacation? Oh, well, Agents 9 and Vodella were nice enough to give me this all-expense-paid tropical vacation. Look. <laughs> that thing's real? <laughs> well, it better be. That prescription sunblock I bought wasn't cheap. God. <laughs> That's a really good callback to the fucking beginning of the game. They chucked that break up right at the start. It's only now landing. I respect that. So, what will you do with Crystal Malik? Well, we don't want any publicity about it, or we'd have to give up Malik. Lucretia. So we'll probably just keep Malik here. Maybe give him to Agent 9 for experiments. Is that ethical? Experiments? You're going to experiment on Crystal? Heavens no. That's terrible. Why would you say such a thing? You said- I said we'd give him to Sasha for therapy. But no one likes an argumentative preteen Rasputin. <laughs> I mean, he had it coming, but also, hmm. <laughs> Will you miss being the acting head of the Psychonauts? Not a bit. In fact, my main goal now is to convince Truman to put off retirement as long as I can. He's been threatening me with the title of Grand Head for years. But I do not need the grief. Do you want Ford to come back and work at headquarters? Absolutely. Nobody gets my hair like Agent Crawler. Hey, Dev, thank you for the raid. Uh, hope you had a wonderful stream today. This is literally the end of the game. This is like the post game. This is the absolute fucking end of the game. If you come here not wanting Psychonauts 2 spoilers, this is after the credits, so. <laughs> Be mindful of that, be aware. We literally finished the video game and went through the credits and this is the ending of the game. <laughs> also, I- they, they went through this whole game, like, with like the beginning they had the bit about how, oh, Hollis was, uh, like, uncomfortable and kind of bitter about the title of, uh, like, Lesser Head or whatever it was and she was like, oh, I don't like being called that, I like being called the... Like, there was another name that sounded less derogatory, and I thought the implication was that, like, oh, like, she's jealous, and she wants to have, like, the lead position, and that's why she would be the mole, but no, 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 uh, she desperately does not want to be the boss. <laughs> I have so much respect for you, ma'am. What will you do with Lucretia? I'd like to keep her under observation. What about the government? The Grulovian secret police? Please, this is Psychonaut's business. I'll bet you're happy my family is leaving soon. Actually, I've invited them to stay. What? I see a lot of potential in that sister of yours, and your little brother, and even your father. Are you going to make my family into psychonauts? <laughs> well, we should at least teach them psycho safety. Can't have them running loose, leaving a trail of burning pine cones behind them. Well, have fun on vacation. Thanks, Rasputin. If I see an octopus while snorkeling, I'll think of you. 
right before I shoot it with my spear gun. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the Psychonauts are a little bit fucked up as like an organization, but like... They're wizards. They're modern day wizards. Of course they are. That's, that's just what wizards are. Not this way. Nope. I want to go to the radio. I want to talk to the radio. They're still playing the song. Now be careful with that dancing. I'm gonna skip the record. I don't think I'm gonna tell anybody. Oh my god, he's so happy. Hey, Queepy. What are you doing in here? He's the latest DJ I've added to my rust. You mean your only DJ? We have a very specific discriminating musical direction here at KLOB. Rock on, guys. Rock is only one of our formats. Rock on, guys. <laughs> Rock is only one of our formats. God, that's so good. Good for Queefy. Yep. I was wondering if they were going to do anything with that, that little, uh... That little radio side quest. Aside from just, you know, being a fun thing to do. It would have been cute if there was, like, Brutal Legend song references in this game, yeah. There's, like, one reference, um... Where... Uh, if you go to uh, Helmet's level after you beat it and go back and like clairvoyance him on stage, uh, he sees you as like a like a roadie and like very much uh, like meant to be like the roadie from uh, Brutal Legend, which is cute. Finally, a visitor! It's been so empty since Agent Fool checked out. Hey, what was your name again? Cody? No. Max? Hector? Finn? Angus? Bart? Seth? Bart? Seth? Pete? Mike? Rufus? Waldo? Milo? Eagle? Rock? Tranquility? Justice? Cletus? Saul? Tootie? Fester? Robespierre? D'Artagnan? Terrell? Oh wait, that's my name. <laughs> oh well. I'll just call you Hootie, like an owl, because you're so quiet and mysterious. You're all right, Hootie. Something about you I like, Hoots. Mind if I call you Hoots? Oh, jeez. Oh, I've gone too far. I'm just gonna be quiet now. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Hoots. Since Agent Bull left, why do you stick around? Oh, you never know when someone is going to rush out here needing some emergency psycho-isolation. Agent Forsyth comes up here a lot for her. My grains. Well, bye. Scanning access granted. Good to know she's doing okay. Well, okay in a relative sense, I guess. <laughs> Let's go visit Otto. Let's go say hi to Otto. Is there something in the isolation chamber? Yeah, we can check back later, but I want to go see Otto right now, so cool your jets. Yo, I know that I have to check out this stuff and that stuff. You don't gotta tell me, wait, do this, do that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know, it's fine. Calm down, it's fine. I'm begging you, it's fine. Hello, Agent Mentalis. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Make any new gadgets lately? Actually, I'm thinking of a whole new line of gadgets. Gadgets that open up the mind for exploration, like in the old days. Wasn't that dangerous the way you early psychonauts used to explore the mind? Seeing that old astrolathe really inspired me. Uh -oh. I'm going to make tiny, personal-sized astrolathes to help people make small cosmetic changes to their personalities. Hmm. Like how an injectable neurotoxin removes wrinkles, but uh, for the mind. That sounds bad, bud. 
I don't think it's a good idea to remove your mind's wrinkles. That's because you're a kid. Trust me, by the time you're my age, there will be plenty of wrinkles in that mind of yours you'll be happy to get rid of. You're... you... you... No! No! Come on, man! No! Happy that Ford's back? You know, I missed that old abusive so-and-so. You need a guy around like that to keep you humble. Why is that? I don't know. It's just something Ford keeps telling me. <laughs> was it weird seeing your old friend Lucy again? You know, I was the one who brought Lucy here the first time, so I feel a little responsible. Really? No, not much. It was all Ford's fault. Ouch. What's gonna happen now with Ford back? Knowing Ford, things will get chaotic and we'll lose all our funding. But that's okay. I have a backup plan. To tell you the truth, I've been fighting off the venture capitalists for years. Maybe you should get out of this lonely lab. Ah, uh, I'm fine. I have my gadgets. And a pretty friendly crab sandwich scuttled by a while back. Hey, you came back. Bye, Otto. See you next time, kid. Under no circumstances are we allowed to let this man get into the tech industry. Under no circumstances can we let this man loose. Code fucking red. Anything new in here? Too small for Nick. That one looks a little soggy. <laughs> Under no circumstances is Auto Mentalis allowed to leave Psychonauts HQ, no matter what, no matter what. Fucking keep him here. What you doing, Pam? Oh, well, it's been a long day, so I'm just rolling back to Auto's to get my brain juice changed. You know, a little pick-me-up. That sounds refreshing. I wonder if I could get my brain juice changed. Worth a shot. Just don't let Otto try out any of his experimental flavors on you. <sighs> Worrying. I guess we can jump in the water now. Oh, cute. <laughs> Now it's just like tossing him up instead of trying to grasp him. That's fun. Oh, wait. The the, the isolation call. Chalmer. Superintendent Chalmer. Good to see you again, Psycho Isolation Chalmer. Crystal Malik was their voice. How you doing there, Crystal Malik? Pretty good, it don't seem. Pretty bad, it looks like. Hmm. Cruelovia, Cruelovia, his father was a dome. Hey, like father, like son, am I right, ladies? <laughs> Those lyrics aren't true, you know. I was there, you weren't. But look, what's past is past. Why don't you let me out of here? No. Nope. Sorry. No. -uh. I'm sure they'll let you out of here after your trial or whatever. <laughs> right. Trial. You don't know the Psychonauts. Haven't you learned anything from this? Yes. Never meet your heroes. Maligula. What a disappointment. No lessons learned at all? Okay, yes, maybe I was wrong about a lot of things, but I could make it all right if I were Zar. Nope. Being Zar means never having to say you're Zari. Okay, Zari is a really good joke. I'll give you that. Well, good luck in there, Crystal. Glory to Grulovia. Well, good glory to Grulovia. <laughs> this man really is like, man, I'm way too rich to ever face consequences, aren't I? Jeez, bud. Hey, what was scanning? I don't know. Grand 
Granted. We already did that. I'm leaving. Cody! No <laughs> more of that, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going home. I think it's really cool how uh, this game had like two villains in uh, Maligula and uh, in in Nick and like you know Maligula and and Lucretia is like the the like the more like uh, what's the word sympathetic uh, villain where it's it's you know it's like yeah it's like we I can understand like very much like how you got to this point and what could have driven you to this point and then there's also Nick and it's just like wow you're just kind of a fucking jerk aren't you and that's fun I like having that sort of like playing off each other like that Boing. There was something I had to get out of here. Uh, you can see it. It's one of the, the collectibles goodies. Oh, hey, Sam. Did Coach ask for more pancakes? No. This time I'm my own boss. I'm gonna open this place back up again. Why? To be close to the animals. Oh. They need someone to help them. Oh, are they? Help them organize. Together, we can run this place. I get some pancakes? Sorry, out of dirt. We're surrounded by dirt. Not the good dirt. Can I get some pancakes? Sorry, we're not the good dirt. Okay. Ah, <laughs> One last goddamn door. Big Leg sits alone. Novelty mug. I'm not sure where these are coming from, but everyone has one now except me. I feel they might contain valuable intelligence. Man, this really is just Hollis being like, hey, can you pick up some like stuff that might hurt people? And also, I want this because I'm jealous. <laughs> God. What's up, clone? Aw, that's cute. My clone thinks he's real. Anyone in the tent? I mean, I guess we're in the tent technically, aren't we? This is probably just a platforming challenge for that thing that we already got. Oh, they're hanging out. Is that another new kid? Wait, wait, wait. What could you two have to talk about? Not you, if that's what you're worried about. Your brother has some ideas about psychics. Did you know that psychic powers don't come from drinking human blood? Uh, yes. Yes? What else did you learn, Dion? Did you know fortune tellers didn't actually invent bed bugs? Give me one more. Crystal balls aren't actually fortune teller eggs. Actually, I still half believe that one. <laughs> Dion, where did you get all these weird ideas about psychics? Dad? Queepy told me most of them. Oh, I get it now. Oh my god. Dion, where did you get all these weird Queepy told me most of them. Oh, I get it now. Oh my god. <laughs> like that uh you know the game kind of implicitly goes like hey yeah here's our two villains that are like acting this way because of the trauma they experienced but you know uh the, the trauma of like like having to revert to this like 
awful fucking defense mechanism like fight or flight instinct because like you're the people of your homeland were under attack and then you were betrayed by like the government to to quell them uh is not at all comparable to uh well you had millions of dollars and then you were ousted and had to live in a rich hotel and eat fucking caviar forever <laughs> not really equivalent okay one more time from the top yes the aquados have had a long time feud with the cheese oops I thought the dialogue would keep going. I wanted to zoom in. Oh, did that stop the dialogue? Oh. I made a mistake. Oh, there we go. He said that's bad. He only said that because he thought the Galokios had cursed all Aquatos to die in water. But it's not true, and... We're actually Galokios? We have two Galokio grandmas. Kind of. A real grandma, Marona. Who I never met! None of us did. And her sister, Lucretia, Arnona, who is also someone named Maligula. The big water funnel we beat up with Pooter. Yes! And our real grandpa is Gelson Mux? No, Gelson Mux is Nona's first husband. Nona! You and your secrets! But the poor guy died in the Grulovian Wars before she came here. And started dating the old bacon guy. Is he our grandpa? No. Anyway, <laughs> she went back to Grulovia to help in the war, and that's when she became Maligula and accidentally killed our real grandma, Morona. That's so sad! It is. Everybody's sad about it. But it's better to be sad than to do what the bacon man did next. He tricked Papa and told him that Nona was his mama. He used a machine to trick Papa's mind from the inside. But Nona is our grandma. I mean, Nona! Not really, but if we want, kinda? If she wasn't our Nona, we couldn't call her Nona. Tella, that's not how this works. None of this makes sense. I don't get it. <sighs> no, I think Tella's right. Nice chart. Raz! Crazy says Nona's not our Nona. Well, uh, it's a long story. You want to tell it? Oh, uh, I would, but uh, I gotta go do some spy stuff. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget the part where I beat the hand of Galokio. You mean where we beat the hand of Galokio? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Putty, my middle baby. So glad you are here. Much work to do. What work? Now that you have lifted the evil curse on our family, I just pointed out that it was all in our minds. Yes, yes. You believe what you must believe. Either way, it opens up so many possibilities. This is going to be a new golden age of the Aquato family circus. Water axe? We will finally earn our name. Ah, right, because they're named Aquato. Cute. Think Dad will be okay? Eventually. You know, I think there was a part of him that always knew. This may finally bring him peace. Why don't you go talk to him? He's probably up high somewhere, staring off into space. Handsomely. <laughs> did you know the truth about Nona? Well, she did always seem a little off to me. But I thought that was just a mother-in-law thing. Wow, yeah, I'm having hella frame drops all of a sudden. What the fuck? Why, is this ha Why does this keep happening tonight? Will he be lost again? You've taught me that sometimes you must let your children roam free. Because that's how we learn. Because they have psychic powers they can use to crush all who oppose them, hmm? I have some ideas for water acts. <laughs> I'm listening. Trapeze over shark tank. How do we transport sharks, Rasputin? Next idea. Underwater tightrope? Not dangerous enough. Try again. Wet blanket fighting. Terrible. Next. Dog washing. Ugh, what else? On second thought, never mind. You've convinced me to avoid collaboration for the time being. I'm gonna get back to my important spy stuff. Don't forget to check on your father, Mr. Big Man of the World. I do appreciate her, like, hearing out all of Raz's funny circus ideas, even if she is like, No, that's that's not feasible. Sorry, honey. <laughs> 
you see us any differently now? Nope. Still just a little baby to you. Oh, actually, while we're here... That'll be our... Where was hole? Where was hole? Trying to remember where the the goddamn the hole for the the final sensor thing is. I had found it once, and then I don't remember where it is. Up <laughs> here somewhere. And this is part of why I regretted not doing it right away, because I figured something like this might happen. Where I just forget where it is. Was it, like... Was it there? Was it this? There we go. Alright. Time for a Billy bust -em up Last one. Maybe this will be the easiest. Oh no. It feels worse. Uh-oh. This one looks tough. Alright. Uh... Time stop! Pins! 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 I want pins. I want better pins equipped. Uh... Damage pins equipped. Um... Let's get, um... The Pluck Anywhere system. Uh, I don't really need the Chain Side Blast. And let's get, uh... Bigger... Bubble. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh right, huge bombs. Uh... Kill my archetype. They aren't messing around. Oh god, these guys get hurt big time, don't they? Okay. That's those taken care of. So let's get uh, time wounds. I missed completely on that. Uh, fire. Some of my archetype. Targeted my archetype instead of this guy. Uh, ah, didn't dodge in time. Oh, wow, you fall right out of there, huh? Uh, let's get time stop and then. One down. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Two down. Oh, what else have we got? Uh, go get that guy. Uh, that's one bad idea. Let's uh, telekinesis and. Oh, that missed completely. Oh well. Maybe I just slam you down, actually. Uh, and then... Thank you for the heal, little man. My dogs are barking today. Cool. Forgot to dodge that. Time bubble. Just completely. There we go. 
burn. I want uh grapple by Oops. You sure you wanna do that? Here I go! Well, oh, I keep grappling my buddy instead. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta like target you so that I actually hit you. Help! You sure you wanna do that? <laughs> All right. Uh. Is that a thing over there? Time you. Time stops you. Time stops you. Go to the ground. Time out. And that heal ability is putting in work. Get you with the slam down. Alright, I think I need to think. Uh, Your is causing it. We're burning out. Heal. Ah, too close. Any second now. Okay. See what's causing this bad mood. There we go. God, the dodge attack is so stylish. I love it. I sentence you. Okay, okay. So we got a couple of guys. Is in session. So we time stop you. Ow. Ow. And we burn you. Oh, God, there's another one. Okay, uh. Fuck. Focus on this one because it's almost dead. Okay. Side pop. Uh, let's keep time stop on for now. Uh, pyro. Nope. That's off the stage. Don't do that. Uh. Okay, so that's uh, the little guys dealt with. I need a side pop. Ooh, yeah, don't step in between the big guys, huh? Bad idea, huh? Oh god, I'm flat. Uh... Okay. Burns ya. Uh... Crossing salmon. Ah! Well, we had a dream fluff. Dream fluffs to. That was fun. That was a fun little bust That's him up. I should let Gisu know I got it done. And maybe punch her in the arm. <laughs> Alright, let's go say hi to Gisu. I'm glad I saved that. Okay. Was over here, right? You discharge all those psycho seismometers yet? Yep. Those things were a hazard. Well, here's your hazard pay. Let us never speak of it again. 
Ah, wake up! Nice. I love you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys. seem to be over there. Hmm. Oh, there he is! Father found. Father found. Hey, Dad. Hello, son. Oh. How are you doing? I'm not quite sure. So many things to think about. How do you feel about Nona now? How can I answer that? She's at the center of so many painful events. But in the end, she might be the one who suffered the most. Are your memories changing? I don't even know which memories are mine. I have memories of my mother from before she died, and I miss her. But I also have a lifetime of memories with Nona. It's giving me a bit of an identity crisis. Tell me about your identity crisis. Well, memories are stories we tell ourselves about where we come from. It's how we figure out who we are. And the story I've been telling myself all my life is a lie. Are you mad at Ford? I feel tricked and confused. But that man, he's put himself through enough. What are you gonna do now? I think I'm going to let this whole mess simmer for a bit in the back of my mind while I focus on making some new stories for the family. So, is Nona still in the family? Well, she's still our blood, Rasputin. And she always will be. Oh. As far as where she'll live now, that's up to her. She's with Ford right now in the Green Needle Gulch, trying to answer that very question. What about the circus? Oh, son, that's going to be something now. <laughs> Your quattos have some great water tricks we haven't used in a generation. It's time for the Aquatos family circus to rise again. Oh, I like how happy he is about that. You feel like you're free of the water curse? Oh, yes, I feel great about it now. Later today, I'm thinking we should all go for a swim. That little army fellow offered to give us all swimming lessons. Okay. I'll leave you alone. I never mind talking to you, son. Oh. We psychics understand each other, right? Oh. Man. I was about to say Augustus has come such a long way, but like this whole family's come such a long way. Wait, shit, little army man. I thought he meant like the hand that's been popping out of the water because of the curse. He means, he means fucking Oleander in the mermaid tail. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry to ruin this touching moment, but I just realized. <laughs> I fell. Also, there's this bit here. Ah, 
I love you too, Sasha. Yeah, I thought Little Army Man was because of the little arm that pops out of the water. <laughs> it made sense! They were talking about the water, they were talking about swimming, it's a little arm. It's time to ride the funicular. What happens if I make this go faster? Uh, actually. They are now! Whee! Here we go! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> yep. A little too late for here we go there, I reckon. See, we're already at 3,000 out of 5,000. I'll have that filled up in no time. Uh, off, off camera on my own time eventually. No, I'm not going to stream getting to 5,000 psychic bits or whatever. Yep. <laughs> the beehive is okay! Why'd I enter this forest again? What, what forest? Where am I? Oh cool, the sun's risen here now. Well. I guess we all go back to where it all started then. <laughs> hey, hi there. Rasputin. I have much on my mind. But I want you to know that in my heart, you are my grandson. Aww. My second favorite grandson. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like something my Nona would say. What are you two gonna do now? We're gonna recuperate here for a bit. <sighs> Make sure Lucy's okay. Oh, I'm fine! Thanks to little Queepy here. <laughs> Think you'll come back to work at the mother lobe agent crawler? Well, I need to spend at least a little time there, or else those bowling alley shoes are gonna sprout legs and walk away. But I'd also love to take Lucy to Whisper and Rock. He thinks if he gives me all the canoe at sunset that I won't be able to resist his advances. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> He's right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love them. What's next for the Psychonauts, Agent Crawler? Well, I'm not sure, but uh, if I have any influence, we'll get back to basics. Exploring the human mind. There's still so much mystery to explore there, Rasputin. If you're going to give your final frontier speech, I'm going to close my eyes and sleep for a bit. You keep talking. Well, <laughs> I thought it was interesting. Have you talked to my dad yet? Not yet. Do you uh, think he'd talk to me? I think my dad will need a little time. You know what they say about acrobats? They're psychic. They're they very flexible. bounce back. Huh. Well, I hope both are true. <laughs> I'll leave you two alone. Stay away from the water! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Old habit. <laughs> the face. Cute. Oh no, it's 
fine. Oh no! It's fine. Anyone in here? Hello? Hello? Let's go see if they're at the, the end of the zone. Yep. Looks like you got those bees back under control. Some of them. Still some ongoing negotiations with the queen. We'd be more firm with them, but frankly, we need the honey. What do you mean you need it? Have fun beekeeping. Come back later for dinner. We're making goat stew. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun bee. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we saw the seven. We saw Otto. We saw Ford. And no, no. We saw these two. And then we saw Bob and Helmet. So we saw all of them. I think we've talked to every NPC by this point. Wow, it's one in the morning, huh? Wow, I've been streaming for seven hours, huh? You know, we've still got, uh... Intern discounts no longer in effect. Ha! Cyclops will keep you in the fight. Delicious and good for smart. Keep one of those in your pocket. Thanks for visiting the automatic. You know, there's still, uh. I got Bob's bottle from Fatherland Follies to finish up, but I think I'm probably just gonna do that, you know, on my own time. I don't. I don't think it would be super interesting to, to watch me go through these levels again to find, like, a, a single vault and a couple of, like, bits of baggage and stuff. Yeah, and there's also the scavenger hunt, but like again, that's just like getting that's just getting little goodies. That's like I don't think that's like prime stream material necessarily. So The vault's good though? Well yeah, that's why I'm gonna get it. And if you wanna get it, you can uh consider picking up the game yourself and playing through it yourself. <laughs> Or, you know, I'm sure there's a multitude of uh, other uploads on the internet if you don't have the means to, to play the game yourself. Uh, of, of, like, the vaults and stuff, so, you know. There's other places for you to give it a look. I think, uh... I think that'll do it, then. Uh... There were spoiler videos of this game day fucking one? God, yeah, the... The fucking march of people trying to be first to upload on YouTube goes ever onwards, doesn't it? Merciless. I hope Ford dismantles this thing. I or hope so too. Bob turns it into a planter. But, uh... It's gonna be it for Psychonauts 2 then, I suppose. game is really goddamn good to uh <laughs> to put it lightly i suppose um no fan art showcase tonight because it's fucking one in the morning y'all y'all it's one in the morning i'm exhausted <gasps> i have the hiccups and i'm exhausted <laughs> i have work to do tomorrow and i have my own stream to do tomorrow uh, tomorrow's stream probably isn't going to be a terribly long one, uh, just because I might, like, have some plans in the evening, but, uh, you know, we'll do a bit of Icy Dungeons. I've been meaning to get back to that game for a while, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for stream. Uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. Thank you for, uh... The, the the support, the subs, the tips, the bits. Uh, Y'all were real generous tonight, and I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, again, apologies for having the alerts muted, but uh, it, I wanted to give the, the game, like, the front and center attention it deserved, you know? Uh, I hope y'all 
enjoyed. Uh, it's far too late for me to want to do a raid, because who the hell would be live right now? And also, I've been streaming for seven hours. Y'all have been watching this stream for seven hours, if you've been here the whole time. Uh, go take a break. Go do something that isn't streaming. Or watching a stream. <laughs> go do something else. Go to bed. Go outside, depending if, on if it's night or day in your area. You know, that sort of stuff. Uh, so I'm just gonna end the stream then, I suppose. Again, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Uh, I hope you're taking care of yourself and taking care of the folks around you as best as you can. Uh, I'll be live again tomorrow around the regular time. Uh, if Dicey Dungeon sounds like a good time to you. And I hope to see you again soon. Any second now. Any second now the beat's gonna drop. Gods give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck this stream over.